Welcome everybody. I'm Deb Purcell. This is my husband, Rick. And today is October 8th in, in, uh, in the Northern Hemisphere and actually October 9th in the Southern Hemisphere in its uh, healing, right? <laughs> this is healing for our Southern Hemisphere, our Australia, New Zealand, and anyone else in the Southern Pacific area. And of course we do have US people here because it's uh, pretty early in the United States. Uh, for Phil, of course, it's midnight, after midnight there. It's a knife now. <laughs> yeah, it's 10 past 12. There you go. Yes. But we're here for our beautiful New Zealand and uh, Australian family down there to do healing. And uh, so we've, I'd like to take care of these that part of the world first, if that's okay. Um, but I've, let me in introduce ourselves first and uh, for those that are new. So uh, we're from HealTeachLove.org um, and I'll explain a little bit about Rick and I and then Phil will explain about himself. Uh, I, I have a really hard time. I stumble over my words, but <laughs> so I'm going to read what I wrote ahead of time so it's a little easier for me or I make a really mess out of this. But I have a difficult time speaking personally about Rick and I. Uh, I stumble on my words and I go blank and uh, so I'm just not comfortable singing our praises and I'm not quite sure why but um, I'll try and read this. So about six years ago some very miraculous and highly spiritual events happened in our lives. While I was busy saying decrees at night keeping, um, or raising my vibration while um, asking my guides to find my joy I had no idea that I was doing the same thing for my husband while he was sleeping in the next room. My wish of finding my joy encompassed him uh, without my knowledge. He, he started to see orbs shortly after that, and then angels and beings and ascended masters, and then the creator. The perfect white light came one afternoon and merged with his energy. It was after that that everything changed. Rick became a healer, and I started receiving downloads of information. Our gifts have only increased since then, and we continue as we continue to grow. Rick has all the clairs, as do I. We share the same higher self during this journey as well. It is our honor to be here today to assist you and your loved ones, along with our esteemed associate, Philip Barrow. Thank you. And I haven't got any ad lib words, so I'll just carry on. Uh, I'm a walking. Uh, the body I'm in died at the first four minutes of life. Or death. And I remember actually coming into the body, surprisingly, with my drugging. Uh, at five year old, I was healing uh, a goldfish that had died for two days and I got it back to life. My hands glowed really brightly and it was great. It never, never gl glowed since, but uh, I still remember that. Uh, I connected to earth energies and clouds and everything when I was like eight or nine. Create, I could create weather. Uh, at will, but I thought it was natural. I thought everyone could do that. Uh, I didn't know it was. I was a bit of an oddball. Uh, so see, at twelve, I was doing warrior. I was getting trained up for warrior work in Ashton. At eighteen, I was really seriously doing a lot of that, uh, and I was healing anyone who wanted it. Uh, about twenty years ago, I got credited to healing at a college uh, uh, in crystal therapy and also hands-on healing, spiritual healing. And uh, I currently I go to a community centre and do free healing on a Tuesday, like a voluntary job. I also do uh, teach children at a school for crystal therapy on a Monday, and on a Friday I teach uh, martial arts uh, level two coach. But I always believe that we have all got the ability to do this, but a lot of times we block ourselves because we don't think it's possible. Everything is possible if we set our intentions and we ma manifest it. And uh, I think that's about it. That, and I enjoy, I enjoyed st uh, Stonehenge, by the way. <laughs> I didn't enjoy healing my friend who died the next day, but uh, it's been a mad week this week. So. Especially seeing someone called David. I'm not sure if you know David. <laughs> uh, Deb, okay. Sophie said, I've got a lot of mouth. I talk a lot more than David when we're not on video. And then you're like, hands reversed when we're on video. I'm very quiet. <laughs> wow. So it's, it's a bit strange. That's crazy. <laughs> Just David can talk. I know. <laughs> right. So. Oh. Okay. I wanted to um, 
have Julia go first because I know that sometimes she has to leave suddenly. So I want to focus on Juliet. Whoops. There she is. Okay, you're on mute, honey. Okay. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Good morning. Thank you for being there. a message from father for you he wants you to know that it's not going to be much longer that you're going to have to go through this i know he wants you to know i know it already i don't even think she'll get back into hospital which is no. what's planned no. you, you, you could have walked away no way i know he no. knows that he knows that she isn't your responsibility you know that she's my child now i'm the mother but you didn't have to do this but i wanted to you other people have the responsibility but they weren't they weren't willing to do it only you were they were supposed to it's been a, a long long time but nobody's willing to give you a break you notice no, no. even though they, they have the power of attorney only you are sitting there. right only you are sitting there taking care of her yeah they're doing the abuse and taking advantage of you and abusing you i don't even go there and think about that i haven't got the energy to think about that i choose to do what, what, whatever i can do but it's like i'm just putting one foot behind the other just holding it together lately it's just so hard but it is affecting you <laughs> It is, it is, that's what I'm, that, that it's showing. I started crying as soon as I heard your voice. No. <laughs> Can we send healing yes. and some energy to her? Yes. Julia, Julia you're, you're well connect, you're connected to the enchantment being you know fairies and everything oh yes she knows that yeah um, she's been told this <laughs> been told this yes I, I, I have connect. trouble believing it but yeah deb's told me i even have their names <laughs> connect to them more they've come through yeah they want to help yeah. you connect i do i do call for them i do yeah. thank yeah. you they, they don't they don't leave her believe me yeah, but they're, they're saying to connect to her, to her more. When you need help, they're there for you, and you need help now. So that's, that's what they've come through to me. Yeah. Thank you. I can see them. Oh, I wish I could. Oh. One day. They're, they're right. They're all around you. I. Yeah, try scrying, you know, squinting your eyes and blurring your eyes. Uh, or it, it, what you could do is have a, a white sheet in the morning, just as the sun was coming up. Put some petals yeah. out and have a look there, because uh, fairies love petals in the morning. He's sent, father sending you energy. Right here. Yeah, Julia, just be careful you don't make yourself ill with this. I already yeah. have seen. I'm already there. That's that's uh, that's the that's the fear. It's because you're yeah. you're not taking care of yourself because of all this and I, I've collapsed almost three times in the last week. Yeah. All this negative energy is feeding it. So you've got to be more try and be more positive with it. I uh, I spoke up immediately yeah. within 24 hours and said i can't do this anymore alone that was empowering <sighs> oh i feel that hey, the angels absolutely two angels have come into you yeah
I'm, se- I'm sending energy to your chi energy because you're very you're quite weak with your energies at the moment, your aura field. I'm just going to yeah. boost to that up with my own. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's been like that for a while. The trees have been helping me so much. There's a lot of energy right here that you just need to draw on it anytime you need it. Just just put your hand there and just take three deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Slow breaths. When you ground yourself, when you go outside, just bring through that energy. That's creator energy. I'm teaching my young daughter to do this too. Yeah. That's always there. You're always connected. He just wants you to draw on that love energy that you have there and your connection to him. I'm feeling a lot more connected lately, even though I'm so weak. You're never not connected. You've always been connected. I know that I'm feeling it. I'm just yes. feeling it. You just aware of it. You put a, a powerful energy there. You've got a lot of healing energy inside of you. And um, the energy that Philip put inside it should help you with your energy, your physical your energy, field. your aura field. field. All of that is, is, uh, is being healed because you've just been worn down emotionally and it, it's going to help it physically it's, 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 gonna, got, it's got almost seven years i know. You know i know i haven't had a life yeah i know you got a couple of cards yes yeah. please <laughs> just say stop stop <laughs> so the two cards is healing and abundance yeah yeah. Now, the first card I picked was abundance. Arrival, abundance, wealth, but I think this is spiritual growth, to be honest. So you can be, yeah, so it's spiritual growth and healing. Stop, I'd stop focus on these problems, let the healing take place. I know it's difficult, but the more you dwell on it, the more uh, lower vibration you have, the more you're feeding any ailments you've got. You've just it, got to let it, it go. I I haven't been able to get out of the unit very much. I know once yeah. I'm out, it takes me three hours, and I get in nature, and I feel energized, and then I come back and start again. Yeah. But I'm not able to get out because nobody's stepping in. Not even my brother. He. This is his punishment for me and my mother. Yeah. It's just abuse to her. It's just yeah. awful. And here comes the lady in question now. She's coming down the stairs. I can hear her. <laughs> very slowly and bless her heart it's her birthday on the 11th too she's turning 93. Wow. Oh, wow. Two. Two. and that's Mossy. <laughs> Mossy. Are this Mossy. <laughs> it's the poodle in her. uh-uh there's another dog outside that's not gonna stop <laughs> come on come on that bus on your cam, you're a cat. Oh. Would you guys like to say good morning to my mum? Sure. sure. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, she's just uh, coming down the stairs. Matsi kaha gashme. No, David, it won. It won a match. Yeah, I cannot mind any service naked. Akik segítenek nekünk. Okay. Hi, Deb. Hi. Hi. Thanks to the meet Juliet friend. <laughs> Hello. And that's Philip. Hey. Hello. They're saying happy birthday for a few days' time. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, Okay, guys, I might have to go. <laughs> yeah, just take care of yourself. Thank you so much. You're we love you. I love you so much. I'm so glad you're there. We're glad you're there too. <laughs> I can't stop crying. Sorry. Right. I know. 
I knew if I started, I wouldn't be able to stop, and I haven't started until now. <laughs> yeah, it's a release, so, so it's fine. Just release yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I need it. I need it. Mm. I love you all so much. Thank you so much. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Rhonda. <sighs> All right, Del Dolores, I'm just going to take care of the Australia group first. Dolores, darling. Hi. Hi, darling. Hi. How are you both? We're good. good. I appreciate this. Thank you very much. So this is my husband. I don't know if you can see. Hip it forward. Yeah. Oh. Oh, right there. What's going on? Well, he's um, had COVID a few weeks ago. We both did, but it's taken him a while to recover. Um, he's feeling better today. Um, and he's been lollipop twice. And I, and I think he needs a scan and some healing. And I have asked him, and he's happy to to receive the healing. Did he do the boost? I, it no, he had two. He had two. Just the two. But I thought we yeah. didn't. We didn't we do take care of him before? No, me. It was me. Oh, okay. All right. Can you? The screen went blank. Oh, Darn. sorry. So I'll sort out the uh, lollipop. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. Can you send his picture to me on private message on uh, Facebook? That way I can just put bring it up. Oh, I, I don't know if I can do that. Oh, <laughs> on your phone? On your phone? Um, do you have Facebook on your phone? No. Oh, never mind. Do you have him on your computer? No. Okay. It just would have been easier. That way you could actually share it on, on, on uh, Zoom if you have any pictures of him on your, on your Facebook. Is that better? I, I'm just trying to get the reflection off of there. That's better. Sorry. That's all right. It's not your fault. <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm not computer savvy at all. <laughs> Hold it up higher. The reflection of the windows coming in again. There we go. He's just getting his eyes and his face. The rest of them, it doesn't matter. Okay. Do you have them long enough, Phil? Okay. You can put it down now. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> How long ago did he do the lollipop? Um... I think it was about October last year. He's connected to the yeah, Angelics, by the way. Uh, did you get that, Deb? Deb, mm -hmm. hello. He's connected, to, he's connected to the Angelics, but he's also got implants. Yeah. Got a weak aura field as well. So I'll sort that out. I just saw a lot of um, problems with his respiratory system because of it being so long ago. He's also a smoker. Mm -hmm. he, he's also a smoker. He smokes. Well, a smoker, um, a, a smoker doesn't usually get COVID, but because uh, he uh, because uh, he got the lollipop is why he did. did. Deb, oh, I know well, that. We're, we're on YouTube, remember? You even said don't even say the C word. No. Well, <laughs> you know, I'm sorry, but it's true. Mm. He's got three implants. By the way, I'm just going on a journey. They're in his lungs. Um, actually, one is. Two are in his lungs. Uh, is that what you're seeing? Yeah, there's a third. Uh, Bottom of his spine? Yeah, I'm just going in. I'll pack in a minute. Or is that a fourth? One in the other arm, actually. Well. Does he get headaches? Lots of headaches. Yeah, there's one in his head, like, like a controlling cord. So d does his personality change a bit? No. Is he different? No. Is he different? No, he gets grumpy yeah. if I wake him up, but no. Yeah. <laughs> Because that country back in court, that's been taken out. He might not get the headaches now. The thing's been reversed, by the way. Thank you. That was quite difficult because it's so long. Take the thingies out now, the implant. What did you do with the implants, Phil? Over to Bob. Look at his back. It looks like, just like a, I don't know how to describe this. A contraption, because I've seen these recently connected to the gondolina. I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, I've seen one recently. It, it almost looks like it's in the skin. It, it's, uh, it draws out the gondolina and gives the contraction of some sort. I've, got, I've seen one recently. And the thing is, he's connected to the angelic kingdom, so he's got angelic yeah. energies. Yeah. So they, they would be well interested in his power. Yeah, he's an aspect of Michael. Oh. What was his name? What's your what's your husband's first name? John. Do I say stop and I'll give him two cards to see what you're doing stuff? Did he have a bad back as well? 
Yes, he has, has had back pain. Yes, he does have back yeah. pain. Yeah, you can see it with this contraption. I can yeah. see why. It's like an energy taking his energy. So he would have been quite quite tired in the moment. Stop! You're pulling. I was cards. going. Yeah, <laughs> two cards. <laughs> so I don't know if they're him or you. So the top one, the first one, is listening. So that's like a sign thing. So this confirms you are listening to them and using the knowledge. So he's got intuition there from the angels, but he's got also have self acceptance. So it's too difficult for himself to start oh, loving him, start loving himself more, and then listening to the angels as well. If he accepts that, <laughs> trying. Yeah. Thank you. So, but yeah, the contraptions out there. I've, Thank you. Very I've much. only seen one of them, and that was two weeks ago. Uh, <laughs> and it's normally very spiritual people go because they've got power in the Kundalini. They're taking instead of soul energy, they're taking the Kundalini energy. Right. Thank you. Thank you want you any very energy? Much. You want a quick energy? So I have quick energy. You want some quick energy? Oh, quick. please! I would love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll give you some stone and en stone edge energy, which is still on the good part, by the way. It's the good and bad part. Like Can you feel that? Yes. Right. I felt. Did you get any pain in your neck? I felt some. Me? There. Yes, I do. Yes. Yeah. As, as it comes back, I felt the, because I pull it out into me, and uh, I'm giving you a card abundance of spiritual growth. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Thanks. Thank you and love you. Yeah. And you? Love you too. Love you, Rick and Deb. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. okay. Who else is in Australia or New Zealand or down under? <laughs> I had asked, sorry for my friend. I don't know whether you saw it. Healing for my friend, Jenny. You here? In the, in the chat box, did I put in the chat box earlier on? No. Yeah, we, she's not here. We, we, need, we could do a picture. Yeah, I have, I have asked her. She was going to come, but she's not filling up. And I asked if I could um, oh, okay. send me a photo. Okay, yeah. You, you've seen it? No, I didn't. Uh, do you have a picture? Yep, yeah, I've got two actually. Yeah, One just, before... yes. Doesn't matter uh, what, what, how old they are, what, what your picture. All we need to see okay, is her. Well, she, there you go. Now, um, she has, uh, she's been lollipopped, yeah. stage four pancreatic cancer, and is on chemo treatment and feeling quite depressed at the moment. Lift it up a little bit. What, what stage is she on? Four. Right. Can you see it now? Yeah, we yeah. can. Thank you. Oh, it, it faded out. It faded out. Just, just touch oh, it. Oh, sorry. I think I'll, I'll touch it. I'll get my finger on it. Is that all right? Yeah. She's also an angelic. I was picking out. Yes. Yeah. This I was her, picking this out. Is, <laughs> this is her exit. She chose this. She chose the experience and she chose this exit. Okay. What I would suggest, yeah, why you, why, when you're human, you can get rid of karma a lot easier. So I'd, I'd, she could do with some inner work on herself. Get rid of any stress, any trauma, any. Uh, Anger, forgiveness, sort of thing. Yeah. How long did she have to? Uh, it's Twelve months. She was diagnosed in April this year, but she hasn't yeah. been well for quite a while. Yeah. Is she awake? No. Okay. Um, it's a shame that she's going through chemo and everything. It's because. Can you put down the picture? Yeah, sorry. That's all right. Chemo and radiation and everything. All it does is pay big pharma and hospital. They make a lot of money on it. It's not good for people. It's actually completely so toxic to your body. It's not a cure for cancer. I agree. Um, it's a mechanism to do something else as well as receive uh, the money. It, it can be, but it's luck. It's like one out of ten, and it might just be lucky it gets rid of something. Yeah. Uh, my, my wife had chemo, and it made it a lot, lot worse. Yeah. And then she... I got eight eight months, but uh, the chemo was worse than the cancer. I think. Yeah. But uh, I've given her healing. She needs to, to do some sort of spiritual work. But if she's not awake, it's very difficult for her to do spiritual work. But she, she could do with uh, lifting the vibration. Uh, the other thing is to try and outline the body. I'm not a doctor, but how I do mine, I have thorax. 
she's going to be okay either way. She's all, she's going to go back to the angelic realm. It doesn't matter, no matter what. She chose this exit. This is how she chose. She chose this illness on purpose so she would know what it was like. Because yeah. when an angel chooses, a lot of we've met many angels, and they and they actually woke up and and understood that they chose these. They were not they they didn't leave this realm um, not knowing who they were. They actually chose four. Some of us chose four different cancers to experience, and, and they thought that you know it, it'll be a piece of cake down here. They just didn't realize how dense and how you know this, they just didn't realize. They thought this yeah. would be a piece of cake, but they never experienced pain. They never experienced love. They didn't experience any of these things. And being an angel, they they don't understand what these emotions are and what it's like to be human. So they come here to experience this and. That's exactly what she's doing is experience being human. And she wanted to experience being, having cancer and she chose this to exit. Yeah, she's um, she's very strong and she's being positive about it. She's not saying, why me? She's very strong and well, very I don't know whether she'll listen to you and, and if you explain to her that, you know, what, what we're telling you. <laughs> I've been trying directly and in roundabout way. I don't want to push it too much, but um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want to say, give it, get a uh, two cards? Yes, please. Yeah, let's stop. let you stop for a <sighs> So, so the first card is children, uh, which is a good card. That basically what, what the cards are saying there, honor your inner child and make more fun. So even though she's got all this, fun is lifting her vibration. Ideas and inspiration, God speaks to you and thoughts start listening. So she, she gets uh, intuition in the head. She's and, very intuitive, yeah. Yeah, and she's listen more and have a bit of fun as a child. So even though she's got a really bad illness or bad whatever you call it, uh, as you say, she's been a positive mindset, is always good. Uh, but I would suggest, I'm not a doctor, to have a look at borax to our client body. But I'm not a doctor, so I'm not recommending it. It's up to her. But I can always send you a video on it as, oh, of a specialist. You. If it, are you are you friends on mine or Deb's? Uh, on I think on Deb's. If I can, I tag you then, please. Can I request? Mm? Can I request yeah. a friendship from you? Oh, thank you very much. Thank yeah. you. Appreciate it. And uh, I'll send you a pamphlet and I'll send you a video. I'm not recommending it. It's a choice. That's okay. but it yeah. it does a lot of things. Me and Deb have it so and uh it, it outlined your body which is a good starter even though stage four is very you know you can't get any worse and uh i don't know if you know two days ago my best friend ever had died and she had stage four so i know but he had it since last july so but i've only just started healing him last two weeks so and i should never heal someone who's nearly dying because i tend to cleanse them and bless them and then they go <laughs> so I've done that a few times. But, okay, so I'll do that. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you all. Thank you. We, we love you too. It was good seeing you today. Thank you. Good to see you as well. Okay. okay. Anyone else from Australia, New Zealand? Yeah, if you're from America, just have an Australian accent and say I'm Australian. <laughs> hey. Go forward the queue. I'm I'm Australian, and I would like to have, take care of you next. That's we're taking the Australia New Zealand people first. This webinar is for you. Oh, I see yeah. your little hand up. See, I'm blind too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Hello. Can you hear me? I can, Ryan. How are you going? Good. Good. How can we help you? I've just uh, scanned for anything that's not in my highest timeline and vibration. I mean, artificial, if you can. Thank you. And get rid of it and give you some healing. Thank you. What's going on with your throat? Yeah, I've been feeling pretty uh, locked there. There's something in there. Have you had the lollipop as well? No. Wow, that's rare in Australia. Huh. Um, look in his throat. There's something in there. A square black thing. See it? Mm. Is that legs I just see? It's, it's alive, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was, I was, I was thinking, 
I, was thinking, I did not yeah. consent to that. <laughs> I was thinking <laughs> it, looks, it looks like an implant, but it looks a live implant. It's a bit weird. Yeah. And it's from uh, my holiday place. From where? It's a place biology around. lab. We're talking about like if oh, you're. Whoa. Yeah. No, it, it's no. from my holiday place where I like to go now and again. <laughs> In Orion? Yeah. Because I feel like you, Orion's you... been coming up. Yeah, that's where Hello. my holiday place is. <laughs> Orion? Did yeah. you just say Orion? Yeah. 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 I feel like I'm it. having lots of dream states in Orion and a lot of control. Oh um, my goodness. That's right, interesting. Right. That is where my I was saying Orion. Yeah, that's yeah. where most, most right of the implants, beaming me straight. Oh. That's where most of the implants uh, uh, end up. Uh, I've, I've been doing a lot of clearing for anything artificial, like frequency interference, anything unorganic like i'm trying to go down the organic timeline but i feel there's interference i can hear you know when i wake up i can hear someone talking to me like they just and my dream states are very like um just i don't know like control i feel a lot of control but i've been clearing and not consenting to anything you know but well, obviously yeah do you, most, see the violet, do you see the violet flame a lot I see a blue dot all the time. I see little things. No, you, uh, like around your body, do you see a violet flame around you? No. Do you, do you know anything about um, plants and herbs? And are you really good at stuff like that? Yeah, I'm into all like her, like natural herbs and um, just, you know, I don't know Demiana and all that, but, um, but I've been doing a lot of zeolite detox, like deatomaceous earth. I have a lot of that. I've been detoxing heaps. Uh, with, with the minerals that you know, the clay that bind. So I've been doing you know a lot Saint of Saint Germain that. is. Do you know who Saint Germain is? Yeah, yeah. Well, you're an aspect of Saint Germain. That's why I was asking you. Oh, well. That's I, why I asked if you see the the, the violet flame or, or anything. Saint Germain. I thought I was like, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I'm not aware of any of that. The uh, yeah. the Saint Germain was also Merlin and part of the knights, uh, the part of uh, the knights of the Round Table and. He was part of that era, all of that, so, too. He goes back a long way. He was there when they signed the Declaration of Independence. I mean, he's been around a long time, in many lifetimes. So, so I can call him in? I can call him in? Like you are aspect. part of, you are an aspect of him. You are part of him. Well, I allow him to protect me from anything unorganic yeah. and artificial. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, Ryan, before we go on. 80% isn't Orion. It's normally different places. Your implant's direct to Orion. So I've got to go into the implant and I've got to do a bit of a battle. So you might feel the vibration of a battle going on. So I'll do Thank that you, now. Thank you, Philip. Thanks I'll do for that. that now. Okay. I, I feel like I've been going through a lot of wars in my dream state. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very oh, much, Philip. Okay. And the reason you might, you might be going up there, but the implant, it's not your implant now. It must be there. It might be dragging you in, in Astra, and you're having yeah, a battle Yeah, I feel like there. it, yeah. Tell us when you can feel anything. I'm not too sure. I feel pulsating, but I'm pretty numb in my body. My whole body, I feel pretty numb. It's in your throat. Yeah, the pulsing is yeah. normally, normally I, to do with implants. I did cough up like, just like a lot of phlegm just before and something really hard in my throat just then, but I've always had throat problems. Like It feels like there's always been something in my throat. Um, um, I don't know if like an energetic like shackle or um, like a slavery or you know. Well, this, this thing I don't know how long it's been there, but it feels like forever. But it's I feel like it's coming out because I've been doing a lot of detoxing physically and energetically. So I feel like it's actually coming up. And divinely, I've met up with you guys, and I think you guys are probably going to finally get rid of it completely, like clean well, it's up. Not the... gonna, it's not going to be there after today. He's going into. At the other end, whoever's controlling it is it's going to remove the control. Yeah, because I've been feeling headaches too, like headaches like up here and here. Very like uh, blocked up, like everywhere. Yeah, yeah. this this thing is controlling you, that's why. It's also to, <laughs> it's controlling wow, it can give you pain. Well, it can give yeah. you pain. And like and kind of distort my my um perception or my like uh just it just seems to I don't know. Interfere, interfere with yes. everything. Did you feel that one? Yeah, I'm feeling, I feel a lot lighter. 
a lot lighter. Uh, Thank you. A little description of what happened then. Like, I take up some of my aspects, and uh, Saint Germain's one of them. But I take Hermes and uh, Varys, my team, my warrior team, and it was like a Star Wars movie. It really was mm-hmm. as much as that. The <laughs> spacecraft. It was like you know them ones robotic things. That's exactly how Orion was looking. There was a big yeah. building which was like uh, like a controlling unit that uh, got demolished, and then we we had to do something to the uh, portal that we went through. And then uh, we quickly went, but it was a battle now. So that would have took of our all day. I was there all day. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I was only here two minutes. Well, that was an all day. That's an all day battle. But because uh, time is different, uh, yeah, so. well, well, and it can be infinite battle, eh? Like a battle yeah. never ending. It could be weeks. It really could be weeks. But uh, that was an all day battle because we we're only getting like one part. Okay. And then, uh, How do I- how do I allow that into my space? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. get it. No. I'm not doing any like centenic had... or I mean, no. yeah. I don't know. You, you haven't had any drugs in your teens or any, uh, any Well, real... I've had, in school, they gave us sort of the hepatitis B, C shots and I had double it. Like I went to a Catholic school and then I went to a primary school and I had all those shots to stop like the sexual transmitted diseases or just the ones you get, you know, hepatitis B, C. So I've had all those, but I haven't had any of the boosters because I was aware about all that before the whole thing. And um, and but I know they have a lot of metal in them and all that, but I don't know the ones in school. What do you reckon about those? Like in the night, could, like could, could I, could easily could easily put anything there. Anything so that I we can feel. do. Have you ever had an injury? A well, I did get, well, I got hit on the head by like a, a concrete um, concrete. Uh, uh, well, a cinder, a cinder block. You know, when I saw you last time, I got hit on the head by that concrete. Like when you pour concrete, like it's a crane, and it, it uh, it's like a piece of metal. And and the guy thought I would just die, but I felt like it really knocked wow. me really hard. That'd be it. That'd be and it. I felt like I was out of body after that. I was gone. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe they just come in. Yeah, your aura did, field. Did they fracture your skull? Well, I just got some stitches. I didn't do any tests or anything, but I yeah. felt like I was not there anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your aura field would be weakened, they'd be cracked, yeah. it? and it, something can get through, and whatever gets through can then bring in the implants or bring or can start controlling wow. your energy field. Yeah, that makes no, sense. I, I need to do you. So yeah, a, a major thing like that can bring anything in. Parasites, everything. <laughs> right. I just got to keep doing protection work. Just keep like consenting, like. Saying I do not consent to anything in my space, you know, I do not allow it. Um, Just know. use your full power. I, I'm yeah. going to send you some healing as well because that, we've you, only man. done the implant thing. Well, let's check the rest of him. I think he's got trackers. Yeah, well, it, it won't be trackers now, but yeah. Yeah. I'll just cr- cr- let's just let's just get rid of all the stuff that's. Um... Just send them to Bob. Well, I, I just saw a blue light just up here. A little blue light. Just I don't know if that's a tracker. No, the trackers are inside, and um, the blue lights, um, is it like an orb? Yeah, and it just appeared on my, like, right here, and it, it just shows itself um, just then, funny enough. That could be me, T. That could be to do with my T. Oh. But it yeah. could be Bob, Bob my uh, squirrel that eats implant. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if, if they're showing yourself, like, blue lights and things like that, those are not bad. When you when it's a negative energy, you're going to feel a heaviness on your chest. If you get okay. warmth, if you get warmth or vibration, that's really good energy. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for that awareness. Yeah, if your bed vibrates and you're alone in it, it's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I haven't had that yet. I haven't had that yet. I'm open. I'm open. It's you, yeah, vibrating. Back as well. it's you vibrating, not the bed. It's you vibrating, actually. Just so you know. Yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> Do you have a bad back as well? Yeah, I, I feel like I've had everything, like the spine. Yeah. yeah, my spine's always feels very like I'm always stretching. You know, I'm always going to keep moving. So you have? Did you have traumas to your back or anything, or is it just? Uh... Yeah, I just feel like my spine. I just been feeling like very weak in this vessel. This vessel feels so like. Uh, so I'm wondering if they if they were draining his energy too. From the get go, from when I came into this experience. You have a lot of help around you. So some of those blue lights or blue orbs are that could be your guides or your angels that you're seeing. So you're clairvoyant. You see things. Yeah, but, but I, um, that's all it is. Hmm? That's no, all it that, is. That's all. 
but, um, but I'm hearing voices, but it doesn't sound like, it sounds like someone's trying to um, program me, you know, like, so it's not really clear hearing, but more like someone just trying to uh, put thought forms into my, my mind just before I wake up. Uh, mm. It seems like this, a drone, like a drone of someone talking. There was some um, inside, yeah, black cord and that's been taken out. Yeah, I think yeah, I think it feels. I feel a lot lighter. Like I feel a lot lighter. Um, no more interference. Just say stop, and you can see what the cards have said. The healing stuff. Stop. This is a good one for Australia. Freedom. <laughs> oh, that's what I want. I freedom. Yes. <laughs> and na- nature. Nature is a nature. good one. So connect with nature more every day. And freedom. You may feel trapped in a prison. But you have the keys to release and go forward. Yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah, that's what's all, that's what it's all about. I just want to be free, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I am free. I am. Uh huh. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Rick. You're welcome. Thank Bye. you for the work. Bye. Bye. Anyone else from down under? Howdy. <laughs> <laughs> Thought I'd just say hi. Hi. Did you I'm need sorry. us to do any healing, Kelly? Can you just. Yeah, Phil, can you just check, um, just do a, just an aquiline scan. I've just got a, I had a bit of a disturbance last night um, in the field. So just a geolocation aquiline scan, if you can, please. I, I did, Kelly, I did get that the angels were contacting you last night. Yeah, I, um, so I had a bath uh, prior and uh, yeah, so, and, and got into deep channeling, obviously like put my face in the water, was looking into the water, seeing the, like the light through me, focusing. And then I started doing some, uh, so I was doing, I began with 21 passes with my right hand, uh, like turning the water like this. And then uh, the same, but counterclockwise with my left hand. And then I was drawn to do like a big release uh and and again like the the ancient tongue was coming and and i was really in deep trans state when i came out of the water i was like instantly guided to share that message that i had had that contact um and then it was also in the last three days i've been guided to re-establish the circle make sure that it's all fit and working and and to sit in my space um i also have spoken to a couple of others close by so mick rogers and a few others that are trying to to communicate a bit more effectively. So the communication has got stronger, most definitely. Um, the thing I guess I, I, I wanted to just confirm with you guys is that that geolocational magnetic field is sitting in firm and is, is there's no distortion to that. Mm. No, no distortion. Uh, interesting you do an angelic tongue. I always thought I was the only one who did that. <laughs> yeah. But it's dangerous. <laughs> it's dangerous. Be careful. <laughs> Yeah, no, um, when when I first started, I remember like I was quite young. I was only about seven years old and, and I, I my mum used to tell me not to do it. So like anyway, as I was growing up, it was because I was different. Don't do that, Kelly. You'll get noticed, blah, blah, blah. So at some point, Spirit, Source and the angels decided that uh, I needed to speak this tongue. So I had that near-death experience April 2020 and um, <coughs> that advanced my spiritual journey ex- extremely um and phil as far as i know you were in that loophole that timeline you came in through as well so uh there was a few of us louise uh a few others that all came through uh and basically what happens is if you experience a near-death experience at the same time or relatively within a 14 minute linear uh space if you will uh that there, there's a massive quantum entanglement that happens and that's what we're experiencing right now so um when I do channel deeply, Phil, you definitely would be feeling me. Uh, blue orbs, that's, that's me. Like, if you're looking for seeing blue orbs, that's that's going to be me. Do you blue know, light, when, I, when I used to blue. do ancient song as a child, they thought I had brain damage. <laughs> they said that. They say that it's brain damage. I, I did a lot of study on glossolalia, um, and there, there yeah. are certain ways to distinguish the difference between glossolalia and um, and 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 the, the the defining terms i guess if you wanted to get into it is the the actual vocational language that comes out so there are patterns to our systemic uh archives if you will um and so these patterns that we hear so for me karasha was like predominantly or akasha uh were prom- predominantly the first 
of my tongue to come out and then uh so reading arabic also uh brought on a like a, a a timeline that brought me back so that i would remember that ancient tongue if you will um and that happened over seven weeks with gabrielle or jabril we call her um and and that was a very intense transition to say the least philip um yeah. you know you've been it. so you know if there's all the oxygen in the room it's it's pretty intense yeah. uh everything prophets have spoken of is true as far as i know why they chose a woman this time i think they're just flipping the script just to even it out and I, as far as i know i think every hundred years it flips the script so woman man woman man every hundred so but that's mm. been uh hidden from society as we know it so uh there are women prophets if you will uh there are you know it's just a label but um basically yeah. we're all and healers and apostles and and you know we're all uh, wonderful amazing I, individuals yeah i had a building and i did ancient song in the building and a wind pulled a 20 foot by 20 foot shutters out and created a tornado in the building it lifted it and it wrote off my building <laughs> so and that's in england we don't have tornado but i created one inside the building yeah no i <laughs> pretty insane things happen um mm. so a wives tale is that if someone isn't able to conceive uh you would plant a tree and and say a prayer and so just so you know i had a friend who lived well my neighbor she nikki she lived next door and for five years they were trying and unable to have a baby well kelly b and kelly did some tongue over this lady and and was talking and and they planted the tree in my backyard and sure enough to the day i I date I got the date right that they had a baby girl and I'm grateful you know I'm grateful some other people uh, they've you know I'm being, I'm, yeah I'm being told I need to give you some healing but I think it's more like a key thank you <laughs> or code or whatever you call it I, I won't know what it is you'll just feel it I don't yeah thanks Phil I was ready I felt it the sun let me know thanks shakware musu uno nae ke shukuria Ena wasi fe orunta ila usukuna aya shafa arana weshku orunda akasha na ona wa fe era na te shaikai wasfu orunta kiyama tasana esha fifa ku orumiana ila ta ana asha ku orunda aya tai tera tu uno maya kesha ea sukuna barka ta ena te eshala mosmu fu rena eda kai ala ta esa e wasi te em ta esa esha tai tai Did you feel it? Yeah, myself. I think, I, I think that was from Stonehenge. <laughs> I, I must have picked it up for you. <laughs> yeah, I took it over there, Phil. I tried so hard. <laughs> yeah. I tried. Do you, <laughs> do you want you. a card? Do you want one card or two? You can chuck one at me, thanks, Phil. I didn't bring one out. No, you haven't got your cards. I'll, I'll give you mine. Say thanks, stop. Babe. Stop. I think you do <laughs> this anyway. I don't. <laughs> uh, listening and signs. So let's do the signs first. You've asked for help. Just follow yeah, the did. signs. Yeah. Yeah. And I did. The, yeah, the listening. This confirmed you are listening to them. Use the knowledge in. So you use your intuition as well. Follow yeah. the signs and intuition. Yeah. Oh, I wonder what that uh, key or code I gave you, or whatever the program I call it. Mm. I got it. So uh, last time, last time we connected, Phil, um, I did a massive um, upgrade on the. There was a like a security breach in the. I call it like the centrifugal security system of the dragon lineage. So uh, last time we spoke and connected, I there was a breach in the. I think it was the C7. I fixed. Uh, <coughs> and then just coming today. I'm feeling like it's a heart, like a, an upgrade in the heart somewhere there. Uh, generally, it takes about 24 hours for it to integrate. Mm. Like I'm coding, like I'll, I'll do a blueprint and then uh, I integrate the blueprint into the system. And then after that, then the energetics sort of flow out. So it takes around about 24 hours. At the maximum, it takes about 72 hours. Uh, on a quantum level, it takes 0.017 of a second. But like right now, We're just <laughs> transferring that data. So the the tongue that you heard, the ancient tongue, that is part of that encoding, um, and that mm. came through. I said, Philip, really quickly. So that's perfect. That's that's how we like it. Um, the rest of it, the body takes 
gets in the way if you want to say it like that. It sort of gets in the way. So it takes a little bit of integration for that cellular structure to refrag and defrag. Um, and when that happens, it, even for me, like I'm not immune to this. Like people think, oh, she doesn't do it. Yes, I do. So mm. <laughs> I go through all the ups, all the downs, all the waves, all the crashes, exactly like you guys. I'm not immune to this. Um, so yeah, it takes me around about at a maximum 72 hours. So you can expect uh, just like that last code that came through that I posted, you can expect in, uh, you know, within 24 to 72 hours that another one would, would creep on up and be released. So, um, and as okay. far as I know, there's more than me doing the blueprint printing um, or the remote viewing. Um, I did try and get a group together to try and collaborate effectively with our, with our remote viewings uh, to try and get a clearer picture. Um, it's no mean feat to find uh, a, a small percentage of individuals that are receiving codings and, and uh, energetics from, from source. So we've done well to get this far even. And uh, yeah, you know, hats off all, all of you guys for doing that and for, for putting in the hard work because it's not just one of us that are doing it. Every single one of us that are healing at this rate are helping. Yeah. So yeah, hats off guys. These are awesome. Big love. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, so let's, yeah, let's carry on. And Kelly, I'm, I'm, we're glad you're here. Um, if you could wait until uh, Phil and I are completed and then um, give us your input, I'd appreciate it. The only reason if people interrupt me when I'm quiet, I'm doing healing. I'm Sometimes I'm getting messages. And when, I, when somebody starts talking, I lose my train of thought. <laughs> so I, I, I'm just old. <laughs> so when somebody interrupts me in the middle of something and I've got my mind I'm focusing on, I will totally lose my train of thought. I'm just asking you. patience, patience on me. <laughs> Thank you. You're awesome. Thank you so much. All right. So where um is there anyone else from Australia, New Zealand, or down under in that area that needs healing? Because we were taking care of Australia and New Zealand first. Speak up. All right. So now I will start with the list. Who's next? Victoria. Hello, Debrick. Hello. Hi. Hello and everyone gonna have to use um baby's picture because he's not really too eager to come to me uh for, for during the healing sessions these days um you want to start with baby first sure he's got one of those things in his throat again yeah figure that much did it happen yesterday it wouldn't be surprising um i'm, a, I'm getting the message it, got, it happened yesterday he seems to be choking more these last couple of days but what happened was the other night when I was walking him, the other evening, he started vomiting after like a certain while. And then after that, he's been vomiting a few times and, you know, a little choked up. But here and there, he, you know, because he will cough sometimes. But, but when he's barking and complaining, usually it means, you know, he's under attack or something. I don't know where he's getting choked, whether it's in the home or outside, but they still manage despite me putting a shield on him and healing him regularly. Well, you have an implant. Bobby? No, she does. Uh, I do. And there's a portal in your bedroom, the room that, so they're getting in there. Do you feel it? Did you see them open it? Um, I saw yesterday uh, a being came in. I didn't see, I was out for dinner. So, um, but I but I knew one being uh, was present. And normally for the last little while, the the portal situ uh, situation was more um, was better. Didn't have too much activity for a while. Well, but, but getting in, he doesn't even have to be outside for them to do it. Mm -hmm. Wherever you're walking, Victoria, there was a portal. Uh, you've been walking. I can visualize a portal, and then yes. we jumped. We managed to follow you, and then we created another one at your own place. Yes, that's why they track me. I yeah. I do know that because they keep losing me and. And they want to follow me. That's why when I walk, so stupid, I mean, just ridiculous. When I walk, when I walk, baby, it, it, like he just knows where to avoid. He keeps going zigzag to all different directions, you know, in the neighborhood. I've never seen him in the in you know, on the past. He's always has his favorite place to go, you know what I mean? And he would take me there, but just seeing him like that, it's just a little heartbreaking, you know. The one in your house is linked to a ship. Uh, still have ships above you. Uh, yeah. There's always ships around. I'm being watched by everybody. I would like to share something I, I saw recently, though. It might be connected. Uh, just a few this, days ago. 
I uh, so I had a vision. So I was in a, a forested park, and there was um, in the in the in the sky in the cloud, like the entire sky, there were there were angels all over in the clouds, and then there were light ships, and then on the ground there were also divas and elementals. They all came out. They all came out. All three kingdoms came out. And with that, that very moment, you know, I was working my magic um, in the forest, just doing something, flaming up with the pink flame. I think, you know, I was, I was anchoring the pink flame and doing, I guess, um, a burst of healing around the, you know, the area. Then um, I conceived, I, I conceived a child. I conceived a child and, um, you know, that was what I picked up, you know, you know, and you know, my twin was there in, in that vision. So I don't know exactly who is tracking me all the time. It could be both sides tracking me, but you know, um, it might be linked up, but seeing that there were all angels and, you know, po- most likely the positive ETs, you know, and the divas on the earth realm, you know, they were, they shouldn't be negative that, that vision I saw. And you mentioned last time there would be a new love, right? And so, you know, seeing something like that, that is kind of like, you know, correlating. So any thoughts on that? Uh, I'll, I'll do what the work I did first and then I'll, okay. I'll do thoughts on that. Yeah, the, the portal was actually in a, like a field, so it was quite strange. I was in like a forest. Uh, you had some pain in your shoulder as well to do with it. Yes, they... Uh, um... So I went up into the spaceship <laughs> and it was like a reptilian spaceship, like a long shape. Uh, so I just, we did some damage on the uh, connection there and then we took the portal out so, and we took the implant out. That's all the work. Uh, about that vision, I don't know. Uh, it's, just give me a sec. Uh, have you got any ideas, Deb? No, um, not on the vision. Um, Sounds like is that, a, is, yeah. is that is that portal in the room that was the one that was the in her room is that the one that went to the ship yeah okay both of them did but both of them uh yeah, both, yeah it is pretty hard for them to track me like um through the ground because i put up a, a pretty pretty hot shield these days and so they basically needed the galactics to step in for it mm. yeah no there was an in and an out portal bro that we just shut down in that room that's what that was um yeah no the 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 vision that you've had um definitely correlates to the joining or merging the unity that is coming um you that that vision that you've received that's about a what are we uh it's about five year jump so about a five year jump you've done then like last night so uh just once you're more aware of your timelines so your actual timeline shifts, you'll be aware of the exact moment in time that you've jumped to. And then you can start to triangulate those movements more effectively. So uh, for me, when I first jumped, I was like, where'd I go? Yeah, like I had no idea, no recollection of the actual timeline that I had jumped to. Now I can literally put it in like a log book, like I want to go to, you know, 8,972, or I want to go to like 474 BC, wherever it might be at a certain month, time, year. And I can just log that in, and I can be guaranteed that they, in that astral realm, I would I would initiate that timeline. So um, those visions, premonitions, they are simply a timeline. So we are constantly in the past. We're never in the future. We're never in now. We're just in the past because our intention is actually the now, and our presentation is actually the past. So um, if you can just grasp that and just be aware of that when you're having those visions it is your own vision so it's just you in a future or a past or a previous timeline and just really grasp onto that and you can ask like your guides like your galactic guides for clarity on that um so you can you can literally say hey i want clarity on whatever timeline it was that i landed in and why was i there um we are your guides so feel me everyone here we become your guides we step into a role if necessary if the guides are unable to effectively communicate with you um through the astral like they have so that message from that premonition is to just be more aware of your said timeline so intention when you go to sleep make sure you set that intention 
and be aware of where you are. And when you wake up, be really like, just ask for clarity. Um, yeah, so I mean, I say it in Arabic and it's that I'll visit the Ilma um, and that means increase my knowledge. So you can just, just, just say that you just want to know, you want clear knowing as to your transgressions, movements, so on and so forth. And it will, it will come to, it will come to pass and you will see it. So. So you're saying this timeline, I see, I see timelines like from the future and the past all the time and even in, you know, other worlds and realms. But um, this uh, timeline you're saying that this is a five year jump. So basically this will happen in five years time, you say, or within the period? The timeline I got was that you jumped to, I think it was around about December uh, 2027. Uh, so that vision that you're counting or seeing, yeah, um, that was that. So that's just basically said that uh, provided there's no distortions, which, well, variables come up come to pass mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. there's no distortions that would that would indicate that unity would come to pass by 2027 which was part of the vision or premonition that the pleiadians brought through um so you know i mean you could there's variables victoria uh with bobby i've linked an attacking light white light into his aura field i've had enough mm. of him getting attacked so if he gets attacked now little bell in the back will send alarm into the door field and it will go for whatever's attacking it. Okay. Yeah, well, I just released a heap of coughing and and um, I don't know if you noticed it, but when I channeled into Bob through you, um, there was a real, like, a thick density uh, around the chest and sinus uh, passages, uh, or we call it cellular um, inflammation. And so I just did a massive defrag and that sometimes like I'll even cough like in removal of that. So um, I did have a really big cough. So, um, and they were saying to me to make sure that his fluids were good um, and that that he's getting enough oxygen. So um, if you can just make sure that he is getting that fresh air. Imagine a blue sphere when you do walk outside. Uh, One thing that I have found that has helped a lot of individuals who were being attacked by that specific said uh, energetic energetics um if you just imagine uh, so just place a blue sphere uh around it, it can reach anywhere up to about 120 kilometer radius around you in a spherical form but just it, it, get that blue sphere up and around you as you're walking with him and and just ask that 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 be present in that whole time that you're moving outside of the home because he does need that oxygen he does need to get out into the air he does need to have contact with the sun he does need to have grounding with his feet to help him to balance you too. So everything I'm telling you about him, it's you as well. Mm-hmm. Um, predominantly though, when you are going outside, it's as simple as a prayer. Like just walk out and say, I'm setting my blue spheres field of you know protection, whatever you want to call it. And that that's going to carry you. And they'll just bounce off like little magnets. Like, you know, when you put two magnets together and they just won't rub together, they just bounce side to side. That'll do exactly that. So anything that is not your signature, it will literally just reflect it off and bounce it away. So if you can just focus on that and practice it inside the home as well, Dolan. And, and one thing, when you, do you say want, this, do you want some star uh, cards? By the way. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Hey, stop. Stop. You got me, Von Victoria. We've been too long. We've got this waiting. <laughs> right. It's true. But well, you've been on for what twenty minutes? Balance and dreams. Balance and dreams. Did you say you had a dream? <laughs> it was a vision. You have been I sent say- message in your dreams. Keep a pen, Andy, to write them down. And the balance, we know you're busy. If you need the help, just ask. Oh, so, sorry, my, my dad yelling. Sorry. If you need help, <laughs> ask, just ask. So I, I would say even that dream, even if it's five years, it's, it's a message as well to say that you can connect. Yes. You can get out of it. So, so you're saying that timeline jump would be something that's going to happen. It should have been five years later, but it's going to happen earlier. No, it's in. Or, or if you're just saying that this is a. It's process. in December, December 2027. What a weird, what a weird way of doing it. To just <laughs> see something so far away. Yeah, yeah, but it's locked into your memory there. Yeah. When it happens, you'll know what, what it's about. How am I going to have a child at that age? I'm like, really? Well, remember, we're going to reverse our age. True, true, true. Stop being, just don't be discouraged. 
<laughs> oh my god I that means i'm gonna have to keep having these menstrual cycles that you know for most people around my age would have just finished you know by now <laughs> oh well getting younger i Don't yeah getting older you know, oh. you know, I am 57 next month, but I don't look it. <laughs> 57, wow. Well, I'm 50, 51, so. Yeah, well, you I'm look 68 me. and I look it, so. Well, you, t- you, two, you two look it. No I one's fooling me. <laughs> no um, one's fooling me. I look in the mirror. I'm still talking to Archangel Michael saying, okay, you keep telling me I'm supposed to get younger. When is it going to happen? Okay, I'm <laughs> holding you to it. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny you say that because Jabril is like, every time she's like, I look in the mirror and she's like, you look good. <laughs> Listen, I'm stopped dyeing my hair. There's a I lot have- of gray there. Actually, look. you know, I'm so hoping to keep my hair white and silver because I remember one of my incarnation has silver hair. So I really well, miss that. Listen, I, okay, <laughs> silver. I don't mind the silver hair, but don't, you know, stop the half and half. Yeah, me right. too. Our next, our next, moving along now. People are waiting. Or they're oh, waiting. oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, fellas. <laughs> Love you. Love you guys. Bonnie. Bonnie. I think that's your name. Is that for me yeah. to be me? Yes. Yes. <laughs> My memory hasn't gone that much. <laughs> <laughs> what exciting things has happened to you since we talked to you last? Oh. I'm not going to even have that conversation because after me and Kelly did the sacred circle, I did a sacred fire and I have managed. What did you do with your ankles? What's going on with your ankles? I don't know. (laughs) Fix them. I've blown out my account on Facebook. Okay, Father just showed me, Father just showed me you in a hospital bed with like all tied up (laughs) under was I having fun? I'm sorry, did that come out? Like we should take you off the streets and out of harm's way and put you in a body cast. <laughs> I promised Phil that I would wear my gym shoes every time I go outside, so I do. Um, it, it This last two weeks have been very interesting. Very interesting. There are some people, there are some people that need to be wrapped in bubble wrap. <laughs> I'm actually very agile, so I'm very fortunate. <laughs> and I bounce. I no longer bounce. Although you'd look at me and think I did with all the fat on me. <laughs> oh, nice. Guys, I think you're beautiful. <laughs> no, you the image is I have. You saw my ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word! No, we don't want to do this. Uh, Tell him about myself. I need him. I know, Deb, but I. Deb, the cards are saying you should do some inner work and love thyself. <laughs> Funny. What's going on, Kel? Come on, feel it. There's something there. What is it? I don't know, Kelly. You're dangerous. Oh, stop! I am not. <laughs> Well, then the two of us together got dangerous. <laughs> I've lost light bulbs, my Facebook account, and my phone. Well, you've lost it, or have you been deleted? <laughs> my phone no. is dying. <laughs> well, it's taken me six days to get this. Those, all those issues resolved. It took me three all days to change. <laughs> no, three. Three. Yeah, three. <laughs> Uh, so I've got, what's that, Bonnie? What am I getting? I see, I, I just saw that your ankles need healing. Yeah, I ankles. got. I had a so, really bad car accident when I was 29 and I'm 59 now, well, 30 years ago. And both of my ankles got messed up. Well, I'm showing today that you both your ankles need healing. Were they bothering you? Not that I can recall. Oh, this could be future. So we want to, we want to. Stop it. We want to heal them today so something doesn't happen. I just Please got left thank side. You. I didn't get both sides. I only got the left side and I got right up to the knee. Mm-hmm. And then I've got something just bony on your, can you clear your left side? Do me a favor and if you can, if you've got some sage or something handy, just do a clearing on that left side of you, please. I've got something just sitting in the back there. I don't know what it is. Phil, can you target that? Hmm. Just left. Gee, there's no implants anyway, so that's good. 
No, no, it's like an energy. I'm just trying to pick it up. I don't know what it is. I think it's someone asking for help. I think it's a lost one just attaching. Ah, it's a little girl. Thank you. Another one born in. Phil, she's, she's going to just do that with you. She's happy enough to transition with you. Andrea. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Inshallah. Wa kesha wa aran. Ko ena yete shayaya. Wa ila ilaha. Wa shrahi wa uli. Another one that didn't know any. They come to you because they don't know. Mother Mary's here to help her. Inshallah. Going to... um. Winds. Winds of change. So just do the push now, guys, if we can. They're ready. Okay. It's funny. She's ready to go to the light. She's 12. She's ready. When you're ready, Phil, if you can just position and I'll I'll pass through. She's ready to go. Yeah. Thank you. Prayers of peace, love, health, joy, and harmony, guys. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah. Did you have any sciatica pain? Yeah, I got that with her too earlier. Yeah. That would have been your sciatica pain. Was that little girl? Yeah. Uh, I've done some work on your legs. Uh, I think the fix when you were in that car accident or whatever accident you had wasn't quite right. You had some scar tissue it needed shifting. Yeah. Is that a yes? Yeah, yes. <laughs> Check. I, I ended up starting to zone there for a second into something. I'm not sure what that was, but it was pleasant. <laughs> Body, you've just the timeline that's a bit dodgy. Phil, just do your bit and then I'll finish that timeline. I've got a, there's mm. a breach. I'll fix it in a second. Do you want two cards, by the way? Just say stop. Stop. Oh, oh interesting cards. I think uh, the memory of the car accident, you need to surrender and release the uh, everything from it. And stop hanging well, on to, onto the worries of everything. And Bonnie, the by going into nature every day. Yeah, Bonnie, if I you didn't can see just the come... cards, Phil. Sorry. You got surrender and release and nature. I know okay. you're not, you haven't got it because you're not looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Phil. Um, Bonnie, I'm picking up earth, like you can see me picking up the earth and I'm, I'm rubbing it. I'm wanting to remove that timeline, not remove completely, but to just, I want you to, I want you to pack it away. All right. It's, you don't need it. It's not relevant and you're hanging on to it. And it is, it's, it's stopping you from passing through. I can't do anything until you say yes, Bonnie. Yes. All right. Let's go. Big breath in for me, Bonnie, please. Down to your toes. Pushing, grabbing location. Located. Anchored. Please hold and drag down, 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 down. Pushing down as far as you can. Big breath for me after that. Don't need a bell today. I've got the earth with us. I'm holding the earth. You're okay. I got you. I got you. Right there, Bonnie. Right there. Good girl. Good girl. Down, 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 and one more big breath in for me again. Okay, there, and release. Good girl, good girl. One just at your sacral now, release. Run code nine, Bonnie, run code nine, please, and zero out for me. Phil, can you get a clarity on that? Just make sure that, that timeline ceased, null and void. It's done, I've already done that. Perfect, thank you. Hey, Phil and Bonnie. I was looking for my bell. I don't have my bell. Yeah, I haven't got a bell either, but someone ring a bell. Anyone got a bell? No. <laughs> I have one in the other room. I'll find it. I'll get one. I'll get it. Just to bring you back a bit. You're just lagging. I just got a little bit of, I've got a three second lag. See if I can't fix it with a bell. So remember, don't stop hanging onto your worries and release it into nature. So when you think of worries, go into nature and release it. Tree I went out and got some acorns. Yeah. After that storm, it's been really interesting. Mm. I've been walking ah. around in this big, blue, beautiful bubble. Thanks. <laughs> well, it's, it's had the violet. Um, it's just been interesting, <laughs> like these and beautiful starbursts inside. It's just been, like I said, I've got to be careful because I've kind of had some other issues, electrical ones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. Love you, girl. <laughs> Love you too, sis. Bye. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Rhonda, you're next. You're muted, honey. Unmute. I've asked her. Sorry. Huh. Thank you, guys, and for this quick opportunity to connect with you all again. Um, yeah. I know it's been a short time, but I do appreciate it. Um, so, uh, first of all, I'm so sorry for your loss, Phil. 
Why? I I'm glad you're it's never a loss. I'm glad you're good with it. I'm glad. Never, it's it's never all a loss. How it's supposed to be. Never a loss. Right. Yeah. Um, and um, love the hair, by the way. So you're doing uh, love it today. Looks really good. Um, <laughs> Deb. Deb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm like I'm looking at Phil going, what you do? <laughs> I have had an echo oh, recently. Funny. <laughs> um, okay. So I just um all right, so the reason I'm coming back today, you guys did I so appreciate what you helped me with on Wednesday. Um I was not there Wednesday evening, um, but Thursday I I was there. Um, and I stayed the night so I could have the courage to be there. And um, so th I don't think they listened a hundred percent because there were, they were, what, or the energy there was, um, it was hidden, um, but coming, but returning. And uh, I can send the address, um, if that will help again. What exactly and, uh, happened? Because it was it would, the noise. It was it, yeah, the noise. The, the noise again. Um, what, 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 what sort of noise was it? Uh, knocking, um, the uh, kind of thing, mm -hmm. like it was before, but it wasn't as intense. Knocking where? On the outside of the house or the inside? No, no, it, the inside. Yeah, so... So the knocking, was it a three-tap knock? No, I don't think so. Just clarity. Yeah, just clarity. And the yeah. scratching, the scratching was from above? Uh, specific places, bathroom, again, yep. and um, fireplace. Okay. Was the fireplace on? No, no. No, okay. it wasn't. Well, the, vi the fireplace it could be a critter. So, you know, I, I don't think the fireplace was them. I think possibly it was a squirrel or a chipmunk. She heard the bathroom. Um, but the bathroom, they they love water places. I can ah. tell you that from experience. Oh. They love okay. the bathroom for some reason. I have no idea. Okay, interesting. <laughs> so angels are drawn to, uh, so one, angels can't recite Quran other than Jabril. Um, and two, they're drawn to water because it's cleansing. Um, and uh, they know that often when people pray or when they're, emotionally distressed they will go to water um so they tend to they know that water is a conductor if you will so they tend to sort of hang around there um just when i'm reading into you mm -hmm. uh do you get uh there is a just at the sorry just behind you i've got one two and that one you can go now like you can leave right now thank you and the other two you're welcome to stay um so uh can, can I just say something, Rhonda? Your fear of everything attracts. Yes, correct, correct. Mm. Thank you, Phil. Thank you very yeah. much. I was just about to tell her the same thing. So that is <laughs> anger and sadness. And fear. So if you those 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 emotions, fear, anger, sadness, yeah. they will automatically a low vibrational being will be drawn into your field. So you must be able to identify this know thy signature or know thyself is so imperatively important for us to make sure that we can do this. Yeah. So your signature is not my signature, however entangled it may be. It is the same with every single entity or energy that comes into your field. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in your, we were afraid again. Yeah. Well, okay. So, so I did um, purposefully stay the night um you know and um i was actually pretty courage you know i thought pretty pretty courageous in doing well, so you, you were courageous but you were scared i could tell by you were nervous you were expecting something to happen and it did because you were expecting it mm, okay that's the message i'm getting and that you you were expecting something to happen and why not since you were expecting it oh interesting and so the thing is, like I said, you to really you, didn't believe I, Kelly. Hold on. You really didn't yeah. believe that they were gone. Well, no, I, I really did. I really did. I knew they were gone. I mean, you know, it was it was um, uh, wonderful. It was magical. 
and and I did, you know, stay stay the night. Um, but then, okay, there it was, and I was like, okay, you know, guys, come on. Um, if you if you had a beacon of love energy coming out of you all the time or high vibration, you won't get anything. But if mm. you've got a nervous looking for something, expecting something, that beacon of energy will attract them. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, so any, anything in the area of that. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. So what you're saying is, um, okay. So then, when you are when you're going through that property, um, are you feeling anything, or is it no, just me? Not last time. It's probably a, <laughs> probably around you. As uh, Kelly said, it was one being that she shifted. That's because of your energy. It's just following mm. you. Okay. Like it's not a strong being. Like no shit. Like I came in. Like I can feel your. So I got your ancestral mother and your ancestral grandmother further back. So lines. So the divine feminine, which is what I pick up on. Um, and instantaneously there was this masculine dominance. I won't. I'm not going to give names, but there was there was definitely a signature there that was not not you were not aware of. Let's mm -hmm. say or were aware of that you were not willing enough to remove from your field. Um, and you heard me say, you can stay, you can stay, you can fuck off. Excuse the language, but like, <laughs> don't be afraid. They're very, they're not strong. Like, so they, the stronger they get is by your fear or by your, so when I had Grays approach me or when I had um, a being that I could feel the intention was not loving, yeah. nurturing, beneficial, all I had to say was, you're weak, leave. You're weak, leave. Go peace, joy, love, health, harmony. Go away from me. You're weak. Leave. And right. instantaneously, they just poof away. Like it's like they just like they can't like it's like like the fairy, you know, like Tinkerbell. I believe, I believe, and Tinkerbell's there, right? If you right. don't believe that negative can exist in that sense, so we are negative and positive atoms. We that's another whole topic, but in the sense of intention, yeah. So everything is intention. So we live in intention and we view the past yeah, yeah so I'm when listening. you're I'm listening yeah so when you're in intention nothing has yet happened it's processing so when you went to this home and you had intention to be brave to be bold underlying in the back was i expect there to be a non-beneficial entity there and well, so that's you foolish of me yeah, exactly. So again, being 100% aware of our manifestations, our intention, keeping our intention clear, pure, and in line with the Divine Mother and Father Source figures, so our stable source, this will help you to identify those feelings that come up, those intentions, and you can actually nullify them before they present as a timeline. So you can control your thoughts, control your intention. Mm -hmm. So when you sit and you have a thought come up, just take a moment and ask, is this mine? Is this for me? Mm -hmm. And then move on that. And if there's an intention or a thought process or a presentation of physical that doesn't reside or resonate to you, you can simply deflect that or delete it. It's, it's, we are a soft computer. So it is a matter of just controlling those thoughts as you do, they will enhance. So the, the, the clairvoyancy, everything gets stronger as you learn to control said energetics. Yeah. So when you walk, there is only the said energetics that you choose to be in your field. It is an electromagnetic field that you control. So when you're walking into anywhere, that bios field that you're changing as you're moving your frame into that, you have control over that. You just need to learn how to focus enough and sit with yourself to do that. There's no, no real bad energies that can come close to you, darling. Just deflect but, them away. Thank Rhonda, you. Rhonda, thank think you. about thank it like you. this. Think about it like this. You're, if you can get hold of your power and you've got your power, you're more powerful than them. So why are you scared? Well, why are you worried I, about you know, it? I know. I know that. Um, I think part of the, uh, part of the fear, um, and I've thought about this, really. I think part of the fear begins because it's like i think that i'm the only one who's going through this particular situation and it's it's i'm sure it's not true but 
once I start that train of thought and I'm like, oh shit, you know, okay, I'm, you know, it's uh, whatever. When, when I was a child, I used to get attacked by demons regular. And later on in life, I wanted them to attack me, but they never did that. <laughs> I was waiting yeah. for them. I was looking forward to it. Wow. They never yeah, appeared then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, and I, I, I get it. And um, I, I will be, I will be strengthening. I will be. Um, I have my own thing to go through. That if you hear some banging, send it some love. One. Just yeah. say thank you for being there. Here's my love energy. <laughs> yes, thank you. I send the one. With love, peace, joy, health, and harmony. I'm like, bye, fuck off. <laughs> one. So there's two uh, two more quick things. Um, I I felt that there was a in the back of my head there was a either a tracker or an implant in the back or in my um you haven't got anything throat nothing okay you that's got nothing. Well, we've already done one yeah, <laughs> and out of place everything one was last fine thing is if okay i'm gonna get oh, no think here. about it think what you just said you were money you wanted to manifest a tracker and an implant in your head no, you, were no. You, you were thinking is is the one you're then manifesting the is one you're bringing it in. I'm bringing it in. Yeah. They control yeah. the intention. Control the intention, and you're there. Yeah. Yeah. And I just wanted to see if can you see her? Yeah. I can. See. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to do hearing? Just, just yeah. Let's just she verify. Could, she's got very yeah. good energy. But today yeah. they attack for the last couple of days as well so i can't get a picture i'm sorry i'm trying to get her there she is. I see her. she's got lovely energy thank you definitely lovely. what's her name raisin yep i uh, you know what i heard prune that's amusing <laughs> uh just feel the kidneys just on the kidneys can you just feel that just do a defrag on the kidneys please phil mm, i like that but yeah other than that, she's all good. She's all happy, doggo. Beautiful, doggo. Oh, yeah. Thank you, guys. She's uh, she can be a, she has her own ways. Let's just say, but uh, thank probably, you. I it, well, it. No, it, is she your dog? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She's probably just ignoring you. <laughs> she's probably what? Ignoring you. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Absolutely. Good. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm glad she's good. <laughs> So there was just a bit of granulation and crystallization in the kidneys there that feels just like to to defrag for her and that should help. Um, just make sure she's got plenty of water today um, and okay. that she's, yeah. Other than okay. that, my foot also got a little bit attacked in the last three days as well. Oh, okay. Just say stop, by the way, Rhonda. I'll give you two more cards. And stop. Yeah. Meditation. Yeah. Okay. Yep. A new Meditation love. Meditation and? A new love. New love. Okay. And new love, open your hearts to divine love. Now, I would say that is open your, open your, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting it now. Open your heart to divine love when you have fear. There you go. I've got it. Yeah. That's what it's saying. Yeah. I knew it too. It's something weird. Meditation. Your mind is fuzzy. Calm it down. Me bit of meditation, listen to the angels. That is bang on, actually. That's exactly oh, wow. what, what okay. we should be saying, shouldn't we? More focus. Yeah. Okay. okay. Great. Kelly's, Kelly's got one for you. What's yours? Young Sirens. I can't see it. Okay. So I got win the fight. Um, oh. And there's obviously a couple there coming in union. Uh, that, that sort of, so the picture tells me exactly the same as he did. So we got the same message, Phil, as per usual. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you all. So again. get yeah, get rid of your fuzz get rid of your fuzziness in meditation. And what was the other one? New love. Uh bring in divine love when you when you bring work. in divine love. Okay. When, when you have uh, when you think fit when you start to overthink your mind, yes. think about divine love. Yes. yes. Remember thank you. Intention. They keep telling yeah. me remember intention. So hold to intention. Okay? Okay. And I, I need a uh, I, I'm raising my frequency and vibration always. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you well all. Done. I love you guys. Just, uh, apart from the knocking, and it changes. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. 
Go ahead. Yeah. Do. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Thank you all. You're welcome. Ryan. Ryan, you're next. Is it Ryan? No, not Ryan. Um. We did Ryan. Yeah, we did. Rhonda, Julia, Doris. Sorry. Gable's there, but just an out. Celia. Is it my turn? Yeah. Okay. Hi, Celia. Hi. Um, I don't know which one you want to do first. I have a friend uh, that went home to the Philippines. He's got three lollipops, and all of a sudden, he he went into depression. And then when he went back to the Philippines, he's got pneumonia, and now he's in ICU. Within the last three weeks, he lost about 100 pounds. So I we have been talking through text, but for the last one week, he hasn't been responding. So we don't know if he's still there or, or gone. I can share the picture, share screen the picture. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, can you see? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's his name? His name is Gene, G-E-N-E. I'm like, Deb, I'm having difficulty connecting here. What? He's I can't. I'm having difficulty connecting to him. I, I, the message I got is he's he's um transitioned. Oh, oh he's nearly there. He could be he, he could be in a coma, but his his spirit might not be. Okay. Yeah, we were wondering because I can't. I'm getting a date just doing it actually. Yeah, I told them not to intubate because the moment you intubate, that's a death sentence. Mm. But you know, I it's difficult. That um, that that last boost that uh -huh. they um is deadly. Yep. Yeah, I I you know. But that's okay. He's gonna be fine. You know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We just <laughs> want to know because the the communication got yeah. You know, um, you know, we lost it, so we don't know. Yeah. See, we're just trying to connect. I'm getting out of so, and that's a bad sign. Yeah. So, it might be it might be on a coma, but it's pretty fine. I think he's an angelic. Yeah. He is, or he was. I believe so. Mm. Okay. Okay. I, yeah. So I've got. Um, he's in. He's in processing at the moment. So he's in between reanimation. Uh, if if you must know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like a, he's like a coma, isn't it? He's in a coma, he's, I believe. He's gonna return. So he's only in transition. Uh, so uh, I don't know how to explain what they've told me in Arabic. Um, so he's in the middle. Is what mm. that? It's sort of how I explain. So he, he he's chosen not to pass over. He's chosen to come back. He's making that, or he's in the midst of that decision. He's like torn. He's like he's like one foot in each door at the moment. I've got him like in one in each door, sort of like one in each side. He's like teetering. Pray. Go and pl just pray. Just pray. He'll yep. hear you. He'll hear you. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Hear you, and then the, uh, okay, I'll stop sharing now. Let me see. Okay. And then uh, just a follow up on my hobby. And the, the couple last two weeks when you uh, did him, um, we were trying to observe what's happening, you know, but yeah. there was no change. None. His uh, blood pressure keeps going up. Can you share his picture again? Sure. Hold you on. have it. Do you have it on your computer? Um, yeah, maybe. Hold on one second. Let me see. I think <coughs> you give me one sec. I'll take your time. Doesn't matter what age. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hold on. As long as his face is on there. Um. <sighs> hmm. No, I don't think, I, I think I lost it. Um, hold on. Let me just... Uh... Okay, let's see. I think I'm able to do the share screen. Okay, got it. Right there. Excellent. Does he have high blood pressure continually or up and down? Yeah, it's kind of well. Prior to two weeks ago, he we were able to manage his his blood pressure. It's always been um, I mean normal, and then all of a sudden it just spiked, and that was you know 
uh, the last time you you did something to him, you said that he has a blockage on the right ventricle. Yeah. Um, okay. In his neck. Part. In his neck, yeah. And um, so we were trying to observe for the last two weeks after the healing, and it kept going up. Blood pressure kept going up. How high is it? Um, it's one. It's probably one ninety over. 80 plus 85 that's really high Eight, yeah it is the top one i mean yeah his kidneys i've tried to uh change his programming on his brain right. has he ever had kidney stones yeah he passed it about uh two months ago something wrong it's it's his kidneys hmm. they're not functioning correctly can you still see stones there? Yes, but they're, they're just not functioning correctly. Both of them are not functioning correctly. So we're, I'm, we're going to dissolve the stones that are in there and heal the kidneys. And it's funny because my mom is talking to me. She had the same problem. They didn't find out what was causing her blood pressure. And she said, do you remember what happened to me? Remember what happened to me? Oh. And it was the last thing that, that when her one of her kidneys had stopped functioning, ninety five percent of one of her kidneys had shrunk down to nothing. It was dying. Oh my! And God. That's what was causing her blood pressure. She only had one. Yeah. Was it a falsy pipe? And my mother was yelling at me. For, it's remember what happened to me. And I'm like, your kidneys, his kidneys. And that's what. Does, it, does he have a fever now and again? Does he have a what? A fever. fever. Oh. A fever? No. It could be a low grade fever though. Yeah. Uh, I I did shift uh, a few spiritual parasites, it's only small, like little beetle things. And that could be to do with, you might have a, a kidney infection or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like a, his pipe might be too That's small. That's what my mother was saying. Look at his kidneys. Look at his kidneys. Might be his pipe was too small going in and it's clogging. But there was a few parasites, spiritual parasites, not the normal one. So normally what we do when there's kidney stones is to drink um, lemon and and uh, olive oil and it softens the stones and it, they pass it. We've, we've tried that so many, many times and it worked. So should I do that again? No, we're going to yes. take care of it. Okay. It won't, hurt, it won't hurt to do it on the outside as well. I'm sorry, Kelly? It wouldn't hurt for you to do the lemon and olive oil oh. as well. Okay. Right. Got a card for him. Yeah, it's very, a bit weird that, don't you think that? Uh, yeah, he did have some spiritual parasites around there. It's as long as well, his, his pipe's not big enough. He's, he it. should, let me know how he's doing, but I think he should be a lot better. His blood pressure should come down, but um, drink a okay, lot of water. That energy's in there. Okay, I will. I will tell Say you stop. That. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Yes, thank your mom for me. She's right uh, here. <laughs> are you so, shuffling? Yeah, I yeah. am. Okay, now. Serenity and support. Serenity and? Support. So, support. serenity. Yes. Pe peace of mind is within you and support. Uh, Basically, it's similar to what we're doing now. Yeah. We're, we're giving you support. So, peace of mind comes. So, them cards are after the actual healing. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Okay. You're welcome, hon. I got a direct message and I apologize. Um, Nancy, uh, her husband is from the Philippines and it's way back about a couple hours ago. I, I'm just seeing it. Bert. Hi, Bert. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> hi everyone. It's, so, this is not showing up on the on the page. It's, it's um. It shows up for me, but now you guys. Yeah. Well, nice to meet everyone here. Uh, so you need healing. Let's see. Yeah, I was asking Nancy if I could join and then share to you uh, my experiences, uh, you know. And one thing about it is uh, I keep waking up at these hours and then cannot find my myself again to, to you know, uh, sleep again. So I, I don't know what's wrong with me and there's always fear, always fear in a day that I just won't let go 
uh, very anxious in everything that I do, especially at work. You know, uh, when met a lot of people, and then uh, at one moment there's gonna there's a strike of fear again. So even though I'm reading or listening to Nancy's advices, and some of them are, you know. Um, you can see, uh, look at it on uh, YouTube, affirmation or strengthening your your faith. Uh, still, there are uh, strike of fear, anxiousness. You know, sometimes cold feet or sweaty hands just came in an instant. Yeah. Mainly when you is that mainly when you're asleep? Did you say? Yes. Or, or uh, yeah. Yeah. During those times, uh, there's no, not a miss of a time that I didn't wake up at around 3 or 4 a.m. in the morning. And then, you know, there's a lot of things going in my mind. And trying to focus again on getting back to my, you know, my, to myself. But uh, I, I, I think, um, or I thought of somebody's messing with me around uh, during those times. Did you... Um... Have you gotten a lollipop? Do you um, know what that is? No, no. <laughs> okay. Um, I lost like. <laughs> Do you know the thing that they were forcing some people to get? In uh huh. That's what you're calling it, the lollipop. Okay. Okay. Did you get those? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's something we have to help you with to remove the toxins from your body because that's that is something that will cause a lot of problems yeah yeah that, that you're right you're right uh, uh, how long have you had uh, anxiety at the same time after you've had the lollipop uh, have you had it all your life yeah i got it uh, i i can't remember but uh you know uh it's been a year but uh, i just keep fighting on it focusing on something else but uh, did this happen afterwards did this start happening after that yes okay right you might feel this. Uh, I'm just trying to connect to your 11th chakra. Yeah, yes. Thank your 11th chakra is like, uh, it's like being in a library and you're seeing your book of your, everything about you. It's quite, quite weird. Do you know what placebos are? Um, they're, like a, they're like a sugar pill. Yeah, yeah. So somebody gets, somebody gets the real medicine and somebody gets the sugar pill. Well, you got two sugar pills. Well, so you have been afraid for no reason. You've been carrying this fear for no reason. You've brought on all this fear yourself. So when you bring on all this fear, you open yourself up for anything to come. When, people live, in, when people live in fear, they they milk it because they want you to live in fear. The negative en entities, that's their food. Fear, anger. Dev, can you scan his chest? Do you have a pain it, in the chest? Huh? Do you have a pain in the chest? I'll call, you, I'll call you Nancy because that's the answer. Do you have a pain in your chest? Yes, that's right. You do? Yes. Yeah, I'm picking that up. And I'm picking some at foreign in there. You get what I mean? Like in blank. Yeah. Did you, get, did you get two or three um, lollipops? Me? Oh. You? Yeah. I think uh, I hit the maximum of three. <laughs> okay. Because yeah. some, yeah. some inside there. Mm -hmm. The two were sugar. Number three was not. Relax. It's okay. Just relax. Remember who you are and what we are. We are more powerful than any of that. We're more powerful than any evil. Can you feel anything? Uh, yeah. You can feel it. Yeah. Yes. His name is Bert. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually fighting some uh, beings at the moment from an implant. The implant's been drawn in. The third one weakened your feel. You put it in while you've been asleep. And that's the anxiety, the body's anxiety, because yeah. it knows something's going wrong. Do you understand what an auric field is? You're the field around you. An auric field, we all have one. When people say mm -hmm. you have a beautiful aura, that's your auric field around you. Do you have pain in your shoulder here? Yes, Philip, I have. Yeah, something there, bro. You're just shifting it. 
Uh, how'd you feel? I, I felt I felt uh, a, a, a tingling sensation over this part, and then yeah, I feel a little better. Yeah, lighter. Yeah, lighter. Yeah, that's right. Good. Do you want another card or not? Uh, he's going to uh, shuffle the cards. Tell him yes. when to stop. He'll give you an angelic yeah. card. Yes, I want it. To say stop. I stop. Hmm. Right. Body care and spiritual growth. So take care of your physical body. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And stop fearing your situation. Follow your art and let the growth flow without any blockages. So instead of having fear, have, have power. Have your own. Gain You're very your power powerful. back. Yep. Gain your power back. You are saying. very powerful. You're connected to creator's energy all the time. We all are. Just pull mm-hmm. through that energy. It comes through your heart. All you, all the tools you need are right through your heart here. That's where your soul is. That's where your heart chakra is. It's mm-hmm. all there. Not here. The, the ego mind will tell you that you're weak. You're not weak. Go into your go into your heart space. That's where your power is. Okay. You're healed now. You're you should feel a lot better. All that weight's gone and through that heaviness in your in your mind. No more. All right. <laughs> Take care. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, Philip. Thank you. Thank right, you, Nancy. Just... Thank you, Nancy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Now, I know. I thought I saw Lindsay Ryan put something down much longer, way ahead of this, and I, that's where I couldn't find her. Lindsay, didn't I'm you? Put the, Lindsay. I'm already getting lost, Jasmine. Sorry, Lindsay, know. didn't you put your name up there, way ahead of this? You're on mute, honey. Yeah, this is my first time, so I wasn't sure how to do it. So but I thought your name was way up on this list. So that's what I, I said, Ryan. I thought it was right. Lindsay because I thought I saw your name and you said you had wanted healing for you, right? Just yeah, got, I, I have got Lindsay, but at two thirty-seven. Where? About ten minutes ago. Yeah, Lindsay Ryan. Yeah, it's ten, it's ten minutes ago, but we've got Jasmine. Uh, that's twelve fifteen. Oh, okay. So Jasmine's first, or what? Am I doing yeah. this all? Wait a minute. You're, you're, ma- you're copying it all. Yeah. Pardon? You're making a mistake. I'm making a mistake. Okay, because I'm, I'm somehow I'm getting this all screwed up. So is Lindsay way? Lindsay's about twenty minutes ago. Jasmine was caught about two hours ago. Two hours ago. All right. So sorry, I screwed up. Sorry, Lindsay. Yeah. All right. So. Where do you have, where am I going here? Because I'm, I'm sorry, I have private messages too interrupting this. <laughs> Jasmine, two hours ago. Or two and a half. Okay, there we go. Hello. Thank Hi. you. Hello, we're here. Hi. Hi. How y'all doing? Good. Right. That's good, that's good. We were wondering, I've been having a strange pain in my hip, and I was wondering if you could do, like, say, a body scan for me. To see, Because normally I can kind of get those things out, like eradicate them, but it's, this has been, like, say, reoccurring for some reason. And you want, you, you need to even gun it as well, obviously. Yeah, a little scan. Yeah. <laughs> He's got an implant. You want to keep the implant? <laughs> No. Do you want to keep the implant? <laughs> no, no, please. <laughs> He's got a tracker implant. You got you got the uh, favorite Orion version. Yeah, you have the Orion version of that. Mm. Mm. I'm more of a little, little off as far as I got. I hadn't been able to to reach certain things that I've been normally like reaching as far as connection wise. It, it, it's um, they're on their. They're trying to, to get at us any way they can right now. You're not alone in but, this. A lot of light workers are getting this. Well, if you get the Orion one, it means you're important to them. It's not that bad. He's <laughs> joking. No, I'm not actually. We've chosen you. You get a spaceship one, you get or in Earth one. You've got the Orion one, which is very special. <laughs> you, you might feel some of it here. That's yeah, like let, me, let me see where they, where's the portal. I'm just going in the implant. No, in his house though. It's a run the house. It's not in the house. You work. You work out of your house though, don't you know? Do you we are. Uh, we're like 
a couple of days out of the house and then a couple of days at the at the office. And I've been doing um, I do a lot of music now too. I like my music is is out now. That could be it. Are you over um on the Laughlin side doing the music? I'm pretty much yeah, energy healing a lot on the Laughlin side. On the well, in Nevada, I have a show coming up on the 18th in uh, Las Vegas. So, but my music is out like everywhere. So it's like yeah, yeah. Do you want to play some? <laughs> to say, do you want to play? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not the normal place that uh, these implants are for. It's uh, like a reptilian planet. Really? Yeah, I've been feeling because normally I'm able to get it out, but it's been just the, the, they're making really complex ones at the moment. I'm showing it's a convenience store. <laughs> really? Yes. What is? It just showed me it was a convenience store, the, a portal. The portal is uh, a convenience store. Like wow. if, you, if you stopped, it got like a drink. Uh huh. That's really? where. That's where you got it. Wow! Wow! Thank you for that. Just, it just showed me. It was like a a Circle K or a Seven Eleven Circle K or like a. It could be a pilot gas station or it has where they get all the drinks and they. That's where it is. It's. Wow, I think I know what store. Yeah, it's got like all these drinks all lined up, and you can get anything you want there. Coffee and yeah, that's that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know the name of the gas station or the, the, the convenience store there and all that. Yeah, it's it's like a, a little. It's close to the house, so it's very convenient for us to stop on the way back and forth to work. So I'm gonna avoid that one. That's a, that's where the portal is, and that's where they can. They can chip anybody they want. They can put the, yeah. Wow. Well, if we, yeah, actually we can remove it. We can remove the, the do you know what, um, is it right on the main road? It is, uh, it's kind of like yeah, off of, it's 95. like, it's off of Highway 95. Yeah. So it's like off of main road. I don't know the name of the place. What's the name yeah, of it? You don't know the name of it? I don't know the name of the place. Well, she, she may be able to find it on the phone. But I mean, we normally stop there because it's very convenient. Well, we can remove it. Okay. So you, don't, you don't have to stop there. Do you have a bad <laughs> neck, by the way? Um, my neck, I hadn't had any any really issues with my neck. Sometimes I feel like, uh, well, actually, yeah, I should say that because my throat chakra, sometimes I feel like I'm not, I'm unable to express what I'm trying to get out, so to speak. It gets blocked a bit. Yeah. Right, right, right. Because I do a lot of vocals because I, I do vocals on my, on my stuff. So it's like, sometimes it feels like it's not the same. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Probably what it is. It's in me now, so the energy of that being pulled out of you, you get what I mean. To make it Thank easy you. for me, I pull the energy out and then I get rid of it later. Uh, I'll give you healing on the on the it now. All the implants are out anyway. That place uh, is called Fort Mojave Food Store. Fort Mojave Food Store. Yes. You feel different, by the way. I do. I do. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I feel definitely the tingling. I feel the energy flowing. What What I've done. Just to let you know how I get the implants out, I've, I've created like a squirrel, in a spiritual animal entity, but it's made from angelic light and it eats them. <laughs> so I just send him in and he'll, he'll eat them. And he reminds me of a chipmunk and he talks like the chipmunk movie. <laughs> she talks like that. So that's why I think he's, he's like a chipmunk. But it was a squirrel initially. So I mean, he likes implants. So now we've got, I'll do work on you. Is it yet? It is, yeah. You need, you, you actually do need a lot of, uh, you need healing that. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I think when they put this uh, implant in, I think they messed it up a bit. I, I think they uh, injured you a little bit, wasn't it? Mm. Uh, how do you feel? You needed a lot of energy then. You're a bit worn out, aren't you? A bit drawn. Not enough oh, yeah. energy. Yeah. I feel good. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Even, even like a day, like something in your head needed removal. Mm hmm and because yeah. i normally use like a golden light to yeah. and normally it takes out everything but um it, it, this just seemed like i was like like the, impl like the implant the implants can block it mm, that's what yeah. that's what yeah i mean got you. pain here pain all over yeah <laughs> yeah because I, yeah, I, I would have a sharp pain in the back like right in the back of my head there yeah yeah that's what i was getting yeah it's same yeah. size which, yeah <laughs> Very unusual, mm -hmm. that one. <laughs> Don't know me getting that. Yeah. Really? Wow. Uh, Thank but you. what it is, because I'm taking your energy, 
mirroring into me, I feel the pain there. But because mm -hmm. it, I, I'm, I've got your uniform, your energy field, I can get rid of it dead, dead quick because it doesn't belong to me. Uh, Is that it here? Yes. Oh, yeah, man. That's it. Mm -hmm. I wish I could go into this. You gotta get me a drink while you go in. <laughs> well, this is, right. this, this is the store here, Phil, and it's yeah. got the portal inside that store. Did you have a front? Picture? Well, I had to go into Google Map, and I haven't, or Google Earth. That's where I have to go. I always thought in America there's a crash every mile. There's none there. <laughs> <Damn. laughs> what? When I went to America, there's a crash nearly every mi uh, mile. But there, there, there is, there is. This is, this is Arizona. Right. Yeah, when I went there both times, I was designated driver, and I know why now. <laughs> but you think we drive on the wrong side of the road? No, because you, you can't drive. <laughs> yeah, that's that. There you go. Mm -hmm. That was weird, Deb. Yeah. They sent energy balls halfway, it just exploded. <laughs> wow. wow. Not, that's a new one, that for me. So the energy balls went up, and then just, and then it's disconnected isn't it yeah. wow see we we see we things happen to us that it's never happened before <laughs> do we do we need this anymore no nah, done disconnect closed up now so you can go wow. there oh disconnected <laughs> i think no i can't yeah disconnect that's great yeah. There's a... <laughs> yeah, trackers. Hmm? Trackers. yeah uh, bob's got rid of them all I call him Bob, by the way, my chipmunk. Bob is his chipmunk and eats them, gets rid of them. <laughs> well, so thank you, you for your you feel good okay. now? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. I feel a lot lighter. I feel, you know, actually, I feel uh, freer, you know, like say, to, to connect. Because you know how you feel like a vessel was, like the energy is flowing through you? It would almost feel like like it would get blocked on like like a halfway, like on the left side. Yes. Like or even yeah. siphoned off. Yeah. Lots of time to siphon it. Yeah. How are wow. you, Jasmine? I'm doing good. If y'all can stand her too, <laughs> you just because she goes. Yeah. Do you need any help? I'd appreciate a scan. Okay. Turn the dog up. Sorry, my. We have a dog here now too. Okay. How's your back? Your neck and your back doing? Uh, uh, periodically, I get some pain and tension there. What's well, so showing that? Um, you have an implant too, but it's it's useless now because you uh, that whole area is gone, so it's disabled. Just We're just time. can you send Bob in? <laughs> I don't even have to ask him anymore. It's just an I'm on the back of your neck and your lower or back, so they're going to be gone. So do some healing there. Have you got a bit of stress at the moment? Even though you don't look like you've got stress. Something on your mind, I mean, you're keeping hold of it. <laughs> yeah, I've been working pretty hard. I'll just say that. Yeah, yeah. So I, have, but, I have a large caseload of clients right now. Yeah. I, I take in a lot all day. Yeah, what you've got to do is you got to try and release it. I've, I'll release it because what, what mm -hmm. I can manifest, you know, your, your bad back, it, Deb just said, when your stress is over full, it goes to your bad back and it makes it more painful or your weak points, anywhere weak in your body, joints and everything. That's how people get arthritis quite easily because they have a stressful life and it just keeps on feeding it. Yeah, so I'll get, I'll move that out. Yeah, you'll feel some heat or vibration in your hips, your back and your neck, down your arms, down your legs. Yeah. And in your head. Both of you know, to bless your water and drink it a lot this week. Yes, I'm in the habit of blessing the water every time I drink it. <laughs> Ever since Carol told us, that was it. I haven't talked to Carol in a while. We need to get together with her. Do you, do you eat meat or not? Mm -hmm. Do you eat meat? Do you I have do. meat? Yeah. This is what I do, because I eat meat, even though I'm not supposed to, because I'm very, very spiritual. But mm -hmm. I, I help it by putting my hand on the meat. It only takes a few seconds. And you, if you've got remote viewing, you can see the animal's trauma and you can take it off and send it to source, yeah? Then you thank the animal for the nourishment because we've got to eat at the end of the day, and then you send love energy to it. So not only- Just like the we, Native Americans did. Is that what they did? Thank them. Yeah. And it's blessing them. It's actually helping them. So mm -hmm. 
But one thing I have, I've noticed since tasting it, and even my son has, tastes better. It's made, actually, you can taste the better, you know, it tastes. I made, made a bacon sandwich, and my son said, this is nice bacon. Where have you got it? I said, it's the same bacon. <laughs> it's just been blessed, though. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but it's a good, good idea. It really, I didn't think, I did it, tried it once, and I noticed the change in the flavour, and I thought, I'll start doing that all the time. Yeah. So, yeah. Even though I'm supposed to be vegetarian, but I'm not. <laughs> but I don't eat a lot of meat. But there you go. When I do eat it, I bless it. Mm. How do you feel now, uh, Jasmine? I feel much better. I do. Mm. I feel the warmth in my back for sure and in my heart space. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's always you so want, good seeing you. Do you yeah. want two cards as well? Yeah. Did I get? I, I did. I did two. Say so stop. Stop. Oh, you got blessings, which is extra blessings of the angels, uh, which is a good, great card. Trust, mm -hmm. hold on yeah. to your beliefs that you've got difficult difficulties, uh, and that, that you know it's a lesson basically. So uh, trust, in, just trust your own intuition. But you've got a, uh, you've got a, a guy. I think that's like extra angels behind you to support you. Yeah, mm -hmm. Blessings is one of the best cards, so you can't go wrong with that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. I would love some cards. Yeah, let me get some cards here if, if you have time. What's that? I would love some cards if you if you have yeah, time. Yeah, I, I, I was thinking, did I give you two cards? I can't remember. It's it's quarter <laughs> past three in AM, so I'm a bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. All right, so is one. All right, stop. You know, when you have cards that you're not, if they don't really meet, yours actually do mean quite a lot. Self-acceptance and playfulness. And I think they're like together, if you get what I mean. So mm -hmm. you're far too difficult on yourself. Start loving yourself more. And the best way of loving yourself more is uh, playfulness, which is uh, have fun on your journey. Great, great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Good seeing you. Good seeing you. Blessings. <laughs> Oh, well, it's love seeing you guys. All right, you tell me who's next. <laughs> I can't. I'm asleep. <laughs> One minute. That's caught past. Jasmine, Jelaine, and his messages, but he didn't ask for you. There's one from Gabriel at 1 for I would like a scan. Cindy Jumper would like a scan. I feel she has an implant. Her phone is not working. I don't know if we can do phones. That's on our, our phone. Healing weekend. Not here Where's Gabriel? Gabrielle. Gabrielle. Hello. Mute. Hello. You're muted, but you're on dead slow. I'm not muted. No. No. Gabrielle. Gabrielle's not muted, but she's dead slow. Oh, you're back. You're muted now. There we go. Okay. Sorry. It cut out for some reason. Yeah. The, the, the phone fixing's on the next weekend. All right. I'll make sure I'm there. I'm <laughs> I, we could try, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't think it's going to go. She's just going to need a new phone. Yeah. But yeah. Your bandwidth is really low. I was wondering. Either your bandwidth slow or your timeline slow. Deb, she what? I would like a scan. And Cindy Jumper would like a scan and feel she has an implant. Her phone is not working. But shall we do it? <laughs> How is she going to know what we're doing if she can't hear us? She might be able to. <laughs> or she might be able to do it in 10 minutes when the message gets um, Okay. Through. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I'm sending Eileen anyway. I'm not getting anything for her. I mean, uh, what I am getting is, I know you are you are a baby, don't you? You'll get one, but don't what, think overthink it. Next year, <laughs> definitely next. Year. And uh, Cindy's no. not got an input. What? All right. Oh, can you hear me now? Go on. And you said, "Can I hear you now?" I did, but you now stopped. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, turned off some of my data. So my data isn't working that well. I can hear you. 
Okay, you can hear me. So mom's here. Oh, okay. Hello. She... Hello. Oh. Um, I was asking for a, a scan. I think I might have an implant. She's got something in her throat. It's got legs. Looks like the same one that um, we saw earlier. You see it? I'm just checking out. <laughs> so, picking up the image here. It's gone now, Dad. I, I felt it like... <laughs> oh. It's gone. It's gone. Oh. Did you feel it go? Yes, I did. It was like an octopus. And then all of a sudden... Whew. That was me, me chipmunk, Bob. Taking it out. <laughs> that was awesome because I just, I felt like I was just saying, you know, you can't stop Philip from getting in there. We're going to find you out, little burger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not me anymore. It's my, my uh, creature being that I created. Yeah. And Bob, Bob the chipmunk well. who likes to eat implants. Yeah. <laughs> like he does. Yeah, what it is, because uh, <laughs> we have that many implants. I thought the easiest way is to actually create one to eat it. And if you create a, a program on it and with white light, angelic light, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it does the job. And he, yeah. <laughs> he's dead, dead, he's dead <laughs> fast now. He's dead fast. Goes from, he knows where they are. It's amazing. Yeah. Like he, he's like it. He's like, cool. four, he's like in 4D. So he gets it from 4D and takes it out. And then, and then you see him and he, that. He's just like chewing it, like a nut. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite weird. That was uh, wonderful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> I didn't go to the. Uh, I didn't go to its destination. I just had enough of that. Done too many battles tonight. I think. But, uh, we'll just, yeah. I we'll think yeah, that's what, uh, that's the one you've already destroyed anyway. Uh, well, I'm not sure. I didn't fully go to it. Probably. But what we do do, we, we sometimes send white light into it. Like, it's like an energy bomb, white light energy. We throw that in, so wherever it goes, gets gets the white light. Yeah. And it also destroys the entry fee. You know that, where it is, it deletes it there as well. So it deletes it. It's, we take the implant and delete it here, but we also destroy it where its where its destination is. Yeah. Oh, well, that that is amazing. Uh, it's, it's weird. Isn't it? <laughs> You have a weird mind to even think about that. Yeah. Did you start a new job? Yeah. Pardon me? Did you start a new job? Um, no, I just quit a job, but I I am currently looking for another job that's not going to be so physically demanding on my body because I'm not 35 anymore. My joints aren't 35. Yeah, yeah. No, I because I, I think it's that where you got it was at, at your job. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That makes sense because I've been doing regular clearings and you haven't. That's why I probably don't have. It. Yeah. Yep. Because I just looked to see if there were any entry points in your house and there's none. Well, that's wonderful to know. We we did try to sage and and you know bring in good energy and intentions and everything before we moved in. I don't I don't see any portals there. Wonderful. And I won't draw anymore anymore. Oh. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Yeah, stop. Tell Hermund to stop. He's giving me a card. Stop. Do you know, me, me, me face is on the opposite way. So when I go one way, I'm going the other way. So <laughs> the first one is signs. Well, that basically means you've asked for help to follow the signs. Yeah. Divine timing, which is two good cards to have it. Your prayers are being answered by universal law. There you go. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. If I had them, I'd be checking me a lottery. <laughs> you get to play the lottery. Well, yeah, I, I did try that a few days ago. I thought I may try it again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you your hard work. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're, welcome. you're welcome. Does Gabriel want a card? Yes, please. What I was saying before is don't overthink. I know you want you want a baby, don't you? Next year, definitely. Don't overthink about it. Yeah, just I do happen. want a baby, but I also want like a relationship that isn't it, like. It does help. <laughs> I think I think it's part of the process, but I'm not hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. 
But it's yeah, not just you, you, you'll, have to change, you'll have to change your name yeah. to Mary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> say stop. Yeah. Stop. Right. right, guardian angel and freedom, is it? I think it is. Freedom, you may feel trapped in prison, but you have the keys to release, yeah? And guardian angel basically means that your guardian angel is behind you. Basically. Yeah, helping me. Yeah. Yeah. I know what they're talking about. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Love you guys. I appreciate you. Thank I hope you, you get some good rest tonight. Tonight? <laughs> tonight or today. I know it's morning where you're at, Phil. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Yeah. If this goes on a couple of hours, you'll see the sun coming up. You know. Right? <laughs> yeah. See ya. See ya then. Bye. Deborah Reed. Right. All right. Hello. I have enjoyed very much this. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. 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 Hello. Um, my one of my friends in Canada, Ernie, gave me your, your a link to your site because she knows I've been struggling with this for so long. Yeah. Uh, came out of body in fifth grade. Lived my life. Amazing life. Challenging, yes. By the time I was 25, I was doing hands-on healing long before even Reiki came around because I'm in my 60s now. So um, met a beautiful man, my soulmate, 25 years of absolute bliss. Everything grew and continued to grow. There was not one clear I wasn't functioning in. I walked around for a year and a half solid in complete bliss, seeing light on absolutely everything. Everywhere I looked, I saw the whole picture of, of altercations happening to people. It didn't. I saw the where the whole story, the whole backstory. Y'all know what I'm speaking of when I'm present. Um, everything's going along beautifully. I moment I, I'm channeling. I'm at a group one night channeling Archangel Michael for people. I leave. I'm at a stop sign or a stoplight, and one of my guides came in, and I was really tired. And I said, "We'll talk tomorrow." Get to the next stoplight. His voice audibly in the car came, it's karmic, you're being protected. I heard brakes, I was hit by a 25 foot truck, um, fully loaded, came up over the side of my car. No broken bones, a traumatic brain injury, and uh, every single bit of my myofascia and muscle locked down. The traumatic brain injury disconnected from the myofascia. Nine years after, as little physical work as, or medical community as I could get involved with, I did. Everything was naturopathic in any way, acupuncture, energy work to heal myself. I'm walking, talking. I was never supposed to be this way again. So what has occurred just three weeks ago, uh, with the help of another woman working with me, finally got the entire Maya fascia recon. It felt like I walked around with plastic wrap underneath of my skin, my whole body for nine years. Uh, the le Six years ago, my beloved husband uh, had a double heart attack at 47 and died uh, working trying to help me get better. So, um, so I had that loss and I understand that was his way out and the whole plan communicated that. I got seizures at one point and they, they diagnosed me with epilepsy. I had three seizures on the, four seizures. On the final one, I heard this is the last one. This was for repair but I was still put on uh, epilepsy medicine. In a period of four months, I gained 70 pounds on that medicine. For eight years, I had no connection neurologically to the stomach. I didn't remember how to hold my stomach in, no stomach muscles, no anything. Got all that back. Um, my, my, what I'd like for y'all to do is to please, um, if you can come up with anything this body has been so strong and been through so much. Twice I have physically died, include, not including this accident and all of that. Um, and it is so strong and I'm so grateful for it. But this extra hundred pounds it's carrying is making it hard for it. Are you still taking the epile ep epilepsy pills? No, I switched to CBD oil um, six years ago and got rid of that. I, was had, I had a seizure on the epilepsy pills. Um, right, but that's I, the medication that supposedly put the weight on? What was the name of it? No, is that the medication yes. that you put the weight on? Yes, yes. Did it, did oh, it have... The neurologist laughed at me when I said to him, I said, well, I'm like gaining weight. He said, oh, I knew it would do that. It's steroids, right? Um, I don't know what it was. I really don't. I, I guarantee you it's steroids. 
So, uh, but I got rid of it as soon as I found out about uh, CBD. And blessings of blessings, I just happened to be living outside of Boulder where the gentleman that created the CBD procedures lived. So uh, are you still seeing things? Are you still clairvoyant? Uh, okay, everything is so occasional. And since um, since the, the accident, um, I want to meditate. I think I, the best laid plans, it's I think, okay, I'm gonna do this and this, and I'm gonna meditate. I get blocked. It goes completely out of my mind. So I never get around to doing the meditation. I may listen. Is your third eye open? Uh, off and on, yes. It's all off and on. And it, it's like there's something that keeps... I, I think you might be getting that. Uh, when you're spiritual and you're really going on the path, we have the dark ones that try and stop us. And I think you're just getting stopped. Yeah. I had gone through that way, way before the accident um, mm. for a period of years and I was sitting in meditation and this entity came up out of this just shadow came up out of the floor, went all the way up to the ceiling, bent over and was coming to go over me. And I was using all the power of the awareness that I had at the time mm. um, to push back on it. it wasn't going anywhere. So I called out to God, Archangel Michael. It was the first time I ever called out for an angel. And he appeared right there and my eyes opened. Sure as I'm sitting here, I saw him standing there. And he had put, uh, he didn't have this big sword, everybody says, it was a smaller sword. And he just said, she has chosen the light. You may not come near her or her ancestors anymore. And and put the, the sword into it and it just dissipated, went right back down into the ground. I've not had any, had any of that since. I used wait, wait, to see them everywhere. Yeah, which sort of healing did you do? Was it just spiritual healing, like me? What? Did you just use spiritual healing? Did I? I used to do, yes. Yeah, you didn't it do right. It coming out of my hands when I was about uh, 18, 19. Yeah. I didn't know what it was, and I had no community until I was 38. Mm. But I just, I would get turn your hands this way or I'd, I'd be in a shopping center and I'd see somebody that needed it and I just knew they needed it and yes. I would just stand there and turn my hands that way and just until it stopped yeah. Bill, yeah. See, see see what's blocking here okay you you should feel it oh like the message I'm getting is you've got a spiritual parasite in you yeah okay. from some reaction coming to me for days what's that I thought I had like a gut parasite. I've been hearing this word parasite for three days. Well, that's what I was getting. <laughs> I yeah. was like, maybe it's a parasite. Well, that was my mind. It was like, maybe it's, it's a parasite. Yeah, yeah it's a spiritual, spiritual one. It's not a normal, it's a spiritual one. Yeah. You know, you know, like Green Mile type ones. Yeah. I've never even heard of such a thing. Uh, do like entity, you know, like I create chipmunks to eat. These are like that. These are like invisible, but feed on injuries negative energies and when you have an accident or serious it can get through your field because you're very weak so yeah you Has were anybody repaired your field? You, you were getting yeah it should have yeah but you, you were getting uh parasite it's spiritual parasite you should be getting <laughs> because you were thinking of the normal parasites so you no know, it's spiritual parasite and I was getting something that looked very similar, like a scorpion. I've never had that one before. Oh, so. <laughs> that's weird. Well, I, I, that shows it's got quite intelligence. A lot of them have got intelligence and they might be switching you a certain, they might be s s controlling you a little bit so you, you can switch on and off. And what happens then is you get frustration, which is low vibration yeah. and yeah. it's feeding off the frustration yeah. then. It, it, bring, it brings you like this, like this. Yeah, that's what happens all the time. Too. That's exactly yeah. what happens. I'll meditate. I'll do things. Um, I'll I'll clear the house. I'll feel good for about twenty minutes, and then crash again. Or okay, I'm going to do this and that. And I'm going to and then I'm going to prepare myself for meditation. I get this and that done, and there's a distraction or something that never gets me to meditation. Mm. And in the middle of, I will sit down and I will be in the middle of communicating, and I will fall asleep. Before yeah. I even for, can continue my yeah. conversation, prayer, anything. Well, yeah, that's a parasite making you fall asleep. Yeah. Uh, I, an example, very, very quick. Uh, an healer was healing this woman who had pain in the knee, and the healer cut me the arms. And what I found out was the woman that had steroids in her knee, it destroyed the parasite's own. So this three inch worm thing went into the healer's arms 
stopped at the arms working, so I had to transfer over to me. And because it was a 25-year lazy parasite, I ended up starving myself for a day, and then I was seriously ill because I had to burn it out. You burn them out, uh, but if it's too big, uh, you can't just burn them out easy. You've got to really kill it, and it makes you ill. So I'll try and sort it out, OK? Thank but I, yeah, OK. Yeah, Google spiritual parasite could be interesting. I didn't know they were existed. I already had the info. Oh, and what happens one day, I think, I want to see if others have that, and it's, it's on the Google, so. I will, I'll look it up, I never heard of one. Yeah, and there are all sorts, like worms, beetles. Yours is scorpion, I've never had a scorpion before. <laughs> Chose you. Yeah, we mm. had them. Rick had you one in his back. <laughs> How does it you feel that? You may feel hot. I feel the temperature shift. Yeah. Uh, All the skin on my face is getting really tight underneath. Deb? Mm. Bob likes it. spiritual parasites as well, though. <laughs> I didn't train him for that, but he'll have it. Take two songs. Let it out. Yeah. You know that's the negative energy is coming out. My legs are going cool, my head is hot. That coughing's negative energy, Ed. Bob's just at one of years ago, but you've got a few of them, actually. Yeah, I'm back to breathing more deeply again. I know I'd been shallow breathing for the longest time and could figure it out. Mm -hmm. Full expansion of lungs, so I turned my... <coughs> How do you feel now? A lot, so much of the tension in the shoulders and everything, and then started getting this itching, tingling, like, crawling inside. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's loosened much better. The lungs are open again. The shoulders are more relieved. Um, yeah, so much better. Thank you so much. Yeah, by the way, the reason you couldn't lose the, the weight gain is these scorpions are controlling that as well. They were controlling a lot of things in you. Very intelligent being. Wow, that's my release. <laughs> your org, your on, org field, your org I field has been repaired too. Oh, thank you. Wow. That's funny. My stomach does feel different. Yeah. Just when I got the, uh, I was able to get the, with the help of another uh, light worker, uh, the myofascia to release um, and reconnect the brain and, and release the whole body. Uh, I came home and I was, I told my son, I said, look, and because he's been caregiving for me, he knows I'm okay mm -hmm. to live on my own now. But after my husband passed, he didn't want to leave me until I was. But, uh, I stood there and I started shaking my legs and he's like, what? And I said, I'm jiggly again. I was so excited. I said, I know I'm fat, but I'm jiggly. There's a big difference because the Maya fascia held everything so rock solid. <laughs> and I didn't, I was like literally touching a board. <laughs> so I was so happy to be jiggly because then I thought you, I could get it you moving. You look different. You look different now than what you were at the beginning. The whole face, there was a flushing that was happening underneath of the skin. The face started tingling and moving, it's um, it. but it was under the layers of skin and flesh, mm. and and it just started moving. I could feel that happening. So, God, thank you so You're much. You're welcome. The, the thing is, not, ma not many people know uh, about spiritual parasites. They don't know how to get rid of them. They don't know what to do. And uh, it can be quite difficult, but uh, at least... At least we saw them. Do you want two cards, by the way? Oh, that would be lovely. Thank you. As a guess, spiritual growth. That's what, what are you guessing, Doug? <laughs> I know. Michael. Let's have Archangel Michael. <laughs> he, he always seems to be a thorn in my life. So. <laughs> Tell us when. <laughs> I love him. Well, I'll stop, please. So well, do I. He's with me all the time. Yeah, he's okay. He's bearable. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. We have a standing joke together. He saved me life twice and he keeps on reminding me <laughs> in, in, in my warrior work. Just say stop. Oh, I did. Stop. Please. He only understands British. <laughs> right. Children and divine guidance. That must be me or Deb or Rick. Divine guidance, you are being guided to follow your intuition. And children, honor your inner child. Now you got rid of your parasites, start to play. <laughs> well, I used to. That's what we're here to do. We're here no. to play. 
yeah. you know, work way, but 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 really do it with joy and love, and mm. and it's just I my goal is to retain bliss again, live in bliss, and yeah. just spread it everywhere, go everywhere and do that. That's what I plan on doing the rest of my life. And exactly, it feels so much better. I just it's amazing how different it is. Mm. So Excellent. You. Excellent. Thank you very much. Gain, well, gain back you. your gain back your full power, and you should, everything should come. Yeah. My full awareness, without a doubt. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Thank you all very much. You're welcome. You're welcome, Davina. Oh, hello. 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 Nice to see you guys again. Sorry, at this hour, you know, you guys still going. <laughs> I, this hour is quarter to four. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> I'll be getting up soon. <laughs> You're already up. Yeah, reprogramming brain to say I've had to be asleep. I'll be all right. You are in U.S. time zone. U.K. Well, you, you're U.S. right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So you um, need a scan? Um, Actually, I'm asking for, for my mom. But, you know, since I'm here, you know, I would like a scan as well. Uh, okay. Okay. What's going on with your mom, honey? Um, My mom, she's having um the cramp very badly. Like, you know, the her body will like cramp very um like muscle spasm cramps. I don't know what kind of cramp. Either muscle or nerve. I don't know. Do you have her picture? Yes, I just sent it to your phone. Okay. Oh, you send it to my phone, not on um a messenger or no your phone. Text message? Yes. <laughs> okay. Here, here. Maybe maybe this will be easier. That's all right, I'll send it to my phone. Yeah, it's right here. Oh. Yeah. Right here. Because the other day she was about to go drive herself home, but she was having cramps, so she has to wait till uh -huh. the cramp get a little bit better before she can drive. When you say cramps, where are they? I don't know. I think it's like more like uh, in her leg or her lower back, because she cannot walk very well. These are like so muscle spasms then. They're like muscle spasms. Okay. And it happened very frequently like, you know, a few times a, a week. And then she's she been drinking something like the, um, like the gallery, but without the, the color. I, I, I don't know, electric, I don't know. Electrolytes. Yeah. So she's, okay. But it doesn't help her though. Okay, so is she drink, does she drink a lot of water or does she drink tea? Tea, I believe. Cause she, she doesn't like water, the taste of water, that's why. Yeah, but the tea has caffeine and she's, um, <laughs> She doesn't drink decaffeinated or green tea or things like that. She drinks the black tea. Yes, I think she drink like udon tea, udon, the the yeah, the one kind of the pretty yes. strong, yeah, the strong tea. Yeah, yeah. So what she's doing is she's dehydrating from that tea. Oh, I see. And that she's getting the spasms because she's dehydrating. She's not drinking enough water. That's why she, the Gatorade. It, okay. it, and that's why she's supposed to, she's trying to get the, the electrolytes in her body. So her body's telling her what to do. So she's trying to do it. So it's better to replace with the lemon water instead of the tea, right? Right. Okay. I will let her know. Okay. Yeah. But let's see if we can help her. But even if she puts oranges and lemon and lime in the water and let's, or make a, puts fruit and like, and make, and flavors it. So she likes to drink it that way. Okay. Slice, up, slice up oranges and and, and in, in the water and let it sit and so it's just not plain water. Okay. Okay. If yeah. Or drink it that way. Or even pe peppermint or anything. As yeah. As Pepper, the water. Peppermint's okay. very good for her. It's good for her stomach. Okay. But you know, just oranges and and the citrus fruits. That's even better with the peppermint. Okay. It's good for her. Or sometimes even cucumber, right? As long cucumber's as cucumber's you know, excellent. Yeah. As long as the the it, it gives some flavor so she won't you know yes like, yes it. okay yes get the water in her she okay. needs the water yeah because i saw her you know um in front of me and cramped so badly and she she's like you know so i was thinking okay maybe you know it's a good time for me to ask her yeah are her tro toes like freezing and her cramp legs are cramping like yeah the yes. whole body like you know she it's just so painful yeah, and she says she cries most of the time, especially at home. She cannot even help herself. 
So I think, you know, it's better to get some healings. Yeah, if you put the, a hair dryer on it, it takes, like if, she, if they cramp all up like that, you take the hair dryer. It takes- I, I think it's the whole lower body. And once it's, it, it you know, um, like a cramp, you cannot move. Oh, it's very right. painful. If, if nobody with her, somebody could take the hair dryer. No, especially hot water, uh, hot bath. So that's a shame that she's alone. I know. Um, yeah, it's it's horrible because it happens to me. I, I, I get up in the middle of the night. It happens to me. I know. And and before screaming thought, at Rick. <laughs> before we thought maybe eating a banana might help because there's a that like, would help too. The potassium. Yeah, the potassium, but. You know, there's a sugar as well, so we, we need to, you know, be careful about banana, right? Has she told her doctor? Because there's a pill that you can take at night to stop them. I think I think she even, you know, went to checking to the hospital. But the, before, when she was checking in the hospital, she they asked them to check on that, but they they have no clue. So I think something like what you say about a tea, because she she been drinking teas instead of water, because she doesn't like the taste yeah. of water. Is she so, diabetic? No, she's not. Hmm. Yeah. What are you getting, Phil? Hmm? What are you getting? I just gave her healing. Okay. So. Yeah, this is um, it's definitely from potassium and a lot of um, older people get it. She's, you know, my legs would cramp up and I'd scream in the middle yeah, of the night. What, what, I, what I have done, I've sent her the energies that she needs, the potassium energies. You don't have to give a solid item, you can actually channel the energy and send the energy you need. Uh, send the potassium uh, energy and it should get it. So from well, now on, it's better to drink water instead of tea, right? Yeah. Well, the tea, I mean, she can have tea in the morning, but she shouldn't drink tea all day and all night. That The caffeine in it, it um, depletes your, you know, it, it actually... Dehydrate. Yeah, it dehydrates you. Okay, just like coffee. Exactly. Or like wine. They, they actually dehydrate our body. Yes. Yeah. Got which it. is which is why I, I drink a cup of a very large cup of coffee in the morning. <laughs> but I love my coffee, but I don't drink it all day like I used to. Yeah. I just drink it in the morning, a cup. Okay. Thank you so much. I will let her know. I think it, it, it should help. Yeah. 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 But they could, you know, if she's waking up in the middle of the night, even after all this water and stuff, they can, there's one, they can give her a muscle relaxer at night to sleep. Okay, muscle relaxer. A muscle relaxer, like it's one. It's it's a it's a low dose one muscle relaxer to sleep with at night, and it's usually a they give it to um, um, diabetics and stuff like that um, when they have neuropathy, people with neuropathy. But if she's getting them in the middle of the night. The, the doctor should know what to give. Um, but she get it all the time, not just at night time. You know, even the daytime. She can't sleep if she's getting it in the middle of the night. I don't know. Other than daytime, she should be able to control it by eating and drinking. You know, eat, eating. You know, like a banana, like foods that are high in potassium, and, and drinking the you know a lot of fluids. Yeah, you know, she's not going to be able to drink this at night, or she'll be getting be getting up at night all night and going to the bathroom. No, because right now she has a you know issue. Um, she cannot walk very far or very long. Once she's walking too far or too long, she start having that, you know, symptom came out. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. I, uh, just, I just, you know, I didn't help her. It's hard to see her, you know, in front of your- I know. How, how old is she now? 70, almost 75. She's not that old. Yeah. I say that because she's in my generation. <laughs> no comment, Martin. <laughs> No, she's not that much older than me. And as you say, we are all getting younger, right? We are supposed to be. <laughs> Archangel Michael. No, hello. <laughs> he just said soon, soon. I, I think he's knitting. He said soon. No, he's knitting. He's too busy. He's just doing some knitting. He's not knitting. <laughs> <laughs> he's laughing at you. At least he's got a good sense of humor. We all laugh. <laughs> Okay, you need a scan? Yes, please. You look good. You look really good. Thank you. You have a bit of back pain. Yes. Your lower back bothering you? Um, not lately. Last time that, you know, I checked with you guys, maybe two months ago, yes, but not lately. And remember last time you guys told me, because, you know, I've been setting photo when I went to uh, go to the beach, 
and send those you know lost soul back home right and um, Phil told me because you know I'm kind of accumulate them and then when I go to the beach I release them but that day after you say that I told them you know the portal is outside of me like a triangle you know surrounding me and then there's a circle and triangle and those are three portals and it's not going to touch me you know it's outside of me yes so there's yeah so there's I'm, I'm not having lower back pain ever. that's fantastic see you might have a bit of your residue from when you did have it two months ago isn't that long ago mm -hmm. yeah so it wasn't that bad to be honest but i could pick it up I was going to say, if you got pain in your arms, but I think it's because I keep on lifting my arms up. I think it's myself now. <laughs> uh, what did you say? Have you got any pain in the arms, or is it me because I keep on doing healing? Um, maybe in my sacred chakra, you know, please, you know, do some healing in the, yeah. the, the area. Yeah, not what many mention the sacred, do they? My sacred chakra. The, the best way, I think it's yellow, isn't it? Isn't it yellow. Good way is to wear a crystal, program it, and just put it in a pocket. Are you still having problems with that cyst? I still can feel them. So remember, crystals, yellow, sacral, use them to heal or remove the cyst. She's got a ovary that gets enlarged. They they call they call it a fibroid, but you told me it was cyst, but they they say it's fibroid. Fibroid, I know. I have I I used to get them too, mm -hmm. but it's on your um, right side. Yeah. And I believe it's outside of my uterus, not inside. You get them in both places. I did too. Can you feel it? No, I, I, I'm I, in the Rick's Club. Both <laughs> <laughs> She's in the Rick's Club. She doesn't feel anything. <laughs> we are clear cognizant. We just know, but we don't feel. All right. I've done my best on that one. I almost feel like that... Um, that Say stop, fibroid. I almost, I almost thought that was like, a, it wasn't a fibroid cyst, one of them. It almost looked like a... Um... Stop. Yes. No. That, yes, stop. Stop. Is that for me or for my mom? What? Is that for me or for my mom? I don't know. Or either one of you. Okay. You're, you're both going to get them, right? Yeah. I'll give you what the cards say. Okay. Right. What? The first one is romance. Yeah. Well, it's so definitely not your mom. mom. Your prayers for love are being answered and new beginnings. Very strange. New no, beginnings. Not... Embrace all your new opportunities, friends and projects. Yes. Yeah. It's not strange. That's what I have been, you know, aiming for. First thing, oh. the new, brand new me. There you go. Unicorn me. Oh, no, that's the old me. <laughs> <laughs> brand new me. I'm already on, on anchor the old me. Anything that no longer serves me. Adios. Exactly. Right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome, Thank my you. love. Thank you. Love you that much. And make sure the water's yeah. pure that your mom drinks. Huh? Make sure the water that you drink is pure. She, apparently, she's been purchasing the, the 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 water. You know, the 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 water that she purchased from the supermarket. But those are yeah. filtered water, huh? It's not really spring water, huh? Yeah. Better buy some spring water, right? Yeah. Okay, I let her know. Okay. She hasn't pulled a card for her. Can you pull one for her or two? Oh, uh, you want a card? No, for, for my mom. mom. For her mom. Uh, don't phone up to say stop. Now. Uh, listening. Listening. Very yeah. good. You know what that means, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she has the lesson. Just checking. Yeah. Yeah, right. she's and pretty. Pretty intuitive, you know, for whatever yeah. you get. So, yeah. And listening to her dreams. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. That's, that's, so that really resonates. You've got to listen and to the dreams. It's sometimes with having a pen next to you okay. when you're sleeping, then write down. Mm -hmm. Right. Goodbye okay. then. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Lindsay. Hello. Hello, Hi. darling. Hi. 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 Yeah, can, yeah. Can I get a scan and then my lower back? It went out um, a couple days ago after I was working out, um, and it's pretty painful. Do you ever get? Do you ever get like touches on your forehead or on your left hand side? Do you ever get like a, a little 
like movement here on your left hand because I'm picking up there's a spirit right close to you it's trying to contact you um I I wish I did <laughs> I wish I could feel them yeah oh, I wish I could I would I would love that F- feel the it- signs what, what it is you it's as though well static energy goes down your left side of your arm or your air at the front just trickles a little bit I was getting that just connecting then yeah. Not no. sure it is. I'm asked. Yeah. Goosebumps, goosebumps on your head. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sometimes I'll get um, you know, more like chills or something. Um I mean in a good way, like good feeling. Um, like if I'm meditating or that's kinda how I feel, but if I get a feeling or close, that's how I would get it. It's a female energy. So it's oh. I think I think it's uh grandmother. Yeah, someone in the past, in your female side, yeah. you might know. Who are you close to? You're close to a great grandmother, or um, well, I've been told one of my grandmas is near me. Um, yeah, other, yeah. But I wasn't really like super close. But I'll take, I'll take the love. Uh, yeah, uh, possibly. Yeah, you've got, you've got possibly. a grandmother. You got a grandmother. Probably, probably like a guardian angel now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to say that because it's very, the, the connection was very quick. So oh, yeah. I had to say it quick. Thank you. Let us know if you feel it. I can feel like a throbbing in my lower um, back. The mm-hmm. whole seating. Yeah, pain in the neck as well. Yes. It's good that because it's not like, <laughs> I think the neck and the back are quite connected. What's What's the white thing in her neck? Uh, uh, it's on the left hand side. I've never seen anything like it. It's so white, white. It's a big white. It almost looks like pages from a book, but in miniature. You know, like yeah. two pages of a book. Oh my God. Or together, but I've never seen anything like that. Just there on this side. What is that? I don't know. Just laying there. Or like you're waving the white flag, you know, you're giving up, like that type of thing. I don't, why is that there? What is it? I give her up her. I'm, ask, I'm asking Father, Archangel Michael, Father, somebody give me this. What is this? Is this from a past life? It is from a past life. I'm getting, it might be the wrong past life, but I'm getting a bit of witchcraft here. Hmm? I'm not sure if it's the same past life, but I'm getting some witchcraft in a past witchcraft life. Witchcraft in a past life. But I'm not sure if it's the same one. I'm showing a pirate ship, and she was had. A, I don't know why there's a pirate ship, and why would she be hanged on a pirate ship? Witchcraft. Witchcraft. Ah, so maybe it is the same life. So I didn't escape as a witch. I thought I escaped. It's funny they they did it to witches all the time. Yeah. If you're a witch, then so couldn't you? Escape? Yeah. Sometimes it's either you're the witch or the witchcraft was on you. So it's one of the other, you got to think, why is that memory come forward? Uh, normally, it's the shock of your dad and death, and you have some residue, some shadow work basically comes through, and your door inside is like trying to open and release this energy that you don't want. Yeah, yeah and why are they or, showing or, me? Why are they or, showing or, me this piece of, even, the, piece of the white material in your skin? Is yeah, or some, sometimes it's a curse when you've killed someone in a past life and the person's last breath is a curse. Yeah. I don't think, it, I don't feel like this is a curse. Oh. This is actually the, what you were wearing. It was part of the thing you were wearing that mm. is material that is embedded in your neck. Oh no. See what I am getting, I'm getting that you are accused of witchcraft by someone you, I said, I'm just trying to get this now. Yeah. Someone wanted you as a girlfriend, you refused, and they called you a witch. And some others backed them up, and you got so the trauma of dying that was nothing to do with you uh, got through. Does that make sense? Mm. So I have. And, and, and the, the clothing that's come through is the memory of what you were wearing. Hmm? What happened? A friend of mine, what? What did you say? What would. It, no, it, right. it, it was somebody that wanted you for their, a man that wanted you as his woman. Yeah, 
and yeah. you ah. refuse you refuse so he accused you of being a witch and they because you wouldn't be his he had you killed for so the in that material yes. the trauma from that death is what's coming through today oh my yeah. your neck no your no neck. not the death the trauma how it that you died for no reason you died for no reason yeah that trauma yeah. But that's trauma to, to die for no reason. Yeah. When you die, you have something daft or you will or battle and fair enough. But when you, you died very quickly, very fast. So you woke up that day not knowing what was going to happen and an hour or two later you died. And uh, it's quite a shock to your soul. So that can't come forward. We got there eventually. Yeah, so these energies are bringing back a lot of stuff that needs to be wow. It's these wonderful energies we're having. So, <laughs> oh my God! Well, yeah. yeah. Oh, I really need to be healed. Yeah. It's so like this, your, your your neck and your back might be something to do with it. They might not. It, yes. Don't know. It, they're definitely her neck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <But> yeah. Are <laughs> <you> sure? <laughs> so, so we um we have to forgive the person. We don't know who he is. His name is that- Luke. Lucas? So you gotta send John Lucas. John Lucas. Got, yeah, forgive the person who did it. Yes. Okay. Forgive yourself for holding on to the trauma. Send the person who did it love. Yes. And okay. then it closes it all. Okay. Yeah, that's done. My good job. It's gone. The fragmented soul's been repaired from that one. Thank you. How's your neck feel? Feels good. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'll take it. How's your back? Um, it's still tender, you know. I mean, it's just it, it's fresh, so it's like you know, it's tender, like it's like mm. raw. But I think it's hard to tell, you know. But I think it'll be better. Mm-hmm. I sense my evening. Uh, yeah, I finished on that. That was cool. My whole body was kind of like vibrating. <laughs> it's like. <"Ooh." laughs> That was cool. And, and we closed up your auric fields. So, and sealed Thank it. you. I say stop and you can have two oracle cards. Okay. Stop. Uh, meditation and new love. So meditation, your mind is a bit fuzzy. Calm it down so you can hear the angels. And new love, open your hearts to divine love and possibly a new friend. Yeah. That new friend, I think, is more... Yeah, but I might yeah. be wrong. We'll see. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yay. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nancy, do you want to go to? We didn't know. Hi, Nancy. Oh, hi. Hi, Deb. Yeah. Hi. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> yeah. Um, thank you for uh, the healing earlier for my husband. Good. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, he's feeling lighter. <laughs> Good, mm-hmm. good. Yes, and you were able to fix his sh- shoulders. <laughs> he has been complaining about that for a long time. You're, You're welcome. welcome. <laughs> may, may I have a scan because I feel I'm constantly attacked spiritually or something. I feel it. Uh, uh, okay. and me, thank you. Where are you feeling them? I'm not getting anything on you. On my right side. Where? At home or at work? Oh, yes, at home. Yeah, I think it was linked to what your husband was getting. Mm-hmm. I think you were picking up your husband's energy. It was, he, he had implants in there. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, I think you were trying to locate the implants and you might have shielded it better than your husband. Mm-hmm. But you could feel yes. it. You could feel him prodding and trying to give you a bit of... Trying mm-hmm. to make you... Do you have fear? Me? Not yeah. anymore. Do you ever have fear? Pardon? Have you, you ever had have... fear? Do you have fear now? Pre- now, no. Previously, uh, yeah. before I had the first healing from you guys. Yes, yeah, I well, was. That's, that's the thing. You haven't mm-hmm. got fear. Imagine a being that likes fear energy will prod mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. to see the reaction. And the mm-hmm. one who reacts more with the vibration it wants, it, that's the one it will plant the implant. I see. Uh, yeah. I think it you were you were picking up his energy, so you have you, you don't have any. Mm-mm. Yeah. Yes. yeah, you're fine. Okay. And now that Thank he's cl- now that he's clean, you won't mm. you won't feel him anymore. 
clean. <laughs> now that he's cleaned out of all the, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Yospin's now clean. He's now, yeah, he's clean. Well, you know what I mean. He doesn't have the implants anymore. Right. I know. I get it. Not that he's not showering. <laughs> Listen, it's been a long day. No, it's four and a half hours. Do you want a card or two? Nancy, do you want a card? I'll be the interpreter. Yeah. Yeah, she's on mute, isn't she? Sorry, yes, yes, please. Now stop. Stop. Uh, study. Study. Self, okay. And self acceptance. Self acceptance. So study. Yeah. Look. Look for new skills and ideas to grow your mm -hmm. spiritual journey. Mm -hmm. And self acceptance. You're far too difficult on yourself. Start loving yourself. Stop being so serious. All right. <laughs> All right. Know. You don't remind me of a person. It's serious, but there you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much. Thank You're you. welcome. Thank you, Philip. You're welcome. Thank, You're welcome. Thank, welcome. You. Thank you. Okay. We only have a couple of people left. <laughs> Everybody's left. <laughs> it's nearly sunny here. Eh? Another hour. Yeah. Katie, did you want any healing? She's probably sleeping. We probably put her to sleep, yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't think she's there. All right, everybody, I want to thank you. Yeah.